are it's it's new to us, Bob, for all those gathered. Yeah, well, yeah, because YouTube yeah, now no. watching this, Bob has. Yeah, all, all the all the people I've met through RFR and uh, Kansas City o Oasis, but they don't they're not on Zoom. Anymore. But all these all these people it was after after 2019. And I started growing this beard in February of 2019. That beard and, and kept it the other day. So yeah, no, that's they had no, you know, unless they saw pictures of me or something. Here's here's a picture of me without a beard. <laughs> that looks that looks great and happy New Year, baby. Yeah. So your birthday. That looks out. pretty recent. <laughs> Yeah, just, just well, yeah, you know, just like you, last week. Consider well, life. No, last last week he looked a lot like he does now. It was it was last century today, uh, if you think about it. You mean the previous millennium? <laughs> yeah, the previous millennium. Yes, you are, you are right. You Hi, are Carol. right. Carrie's gonna Carrie's gonna join us. She's gonna. Oh well, that'd be she's great. She's off work, and I asked her. I said, "Is there any chance that?" You would play trivia Thursday because if 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 you are or if there's a chance, I'm not going to discuss my category with you, and I didn't, so she can join any. She's joining right now. There she yep, is. There you go. Hi, Jim. Hello. Our Canada representative is here. Uh. Now we are two countries. Yes. We are everything is everything is well in the world. We know that our neighbors of the north have got our backs. They're okay. Yeah. Yes. That's good to know. Hi, Leonard. Oh. We are well represented by yeah. America's hat. Yeah. So if we uh uh so if we have your backs, does that mean you're facing Mexico? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, no, I guess, yeah. Carrie, are you there? Yes. Good to see you. You too. Uh, well, I can't really see you. I can see a picture of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's good to have you Sorry. here. It took it took me making your your dad get a category to force you to come play, huh? I I'm on winter break from you know the university, so you have a chance. You have a moment in time to join us. That's I don't. Good. I don't know what the category is. He won't tell me <laughs> in case I played. I'm and looking for. You guys That's are perfectly good. appropriate. I had a paper to write my answers that my dad gave me that he bought at Menards, and I have it in my mess. <laughs> you I guys are really today. close. Well, I tell you, you guys treat treat trivia like it's a national secret or something. It's hilarious. He's like, "Are you going to play trivia?" I said, "Oh yeah, I don't work till four o'clock on Friday." And he goes, "Okay, well, I'm doing a category, but I'm not telling you what it is." <laughs> oh my goodness! It could be anything. And don't oh, worry, the questions be, will all be trivial. It would be a <laughs> a horrible, a horrible breach of decorum. Yeah, it would be. We can't have that, especially since it's recording. Uh, it's still got the dog. Oh, look at the puppy! Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. How are you, puppy? Aww. Hello, puppy. He's good. That's good. great. Do you have a good Christmas? Okay. Yeah, it was good. I spent. Christmas day with my boyfriend and his mom and then Aww. I was with my dad and brother the day after Christmas so a lot of eating I'll, <laughs> I'll turn yeah, my yeah. I'll turn my yeah, computer camera on just to see yeah it's a really bad camera so I don't use it but oh okay who means from the same angle that's enough of that so uh is the picture of you from a long time ago <laughs> yes yeah, it's, he says it's, it's before when he had they, they, they didn't have ultrasounds back then so it is uh, the oldest picture of me that could have been taken <laughs> oh well that's nice hi carolyn oh it looks cold no, where you are now i know darn well it doesn't look like that where you live but it did when I lived in upstate New York. So, uh, where were you at? I was just New feeling. I, I was there for 22 years. No, but where? Oh, um, Oswego. Okay, I don't know where that is. So north of, north of Syracuse on the lake, Lake yeah. Ontario. 
Hmm. Oh, okay. That must have been really cold. Yeah. It was. I guess, I guess as somebody who, who's, who who lived in Ontario, I've looked at the maps enough to uh, know where a seagull was. <laughs> oh, I know. Have you ever heard of Horsehead, New York? No, I had a I had an old boss that lived in Horsehead, New York, and I thought, well, that is a very interesting name of a place to belong uh, to have been from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's way out in the boonies names. or something. Well, mm -hmm. I I was yeah, that was me. Yeah, I was in the boonies because I was actually in Scriba, which is outside of Oswego, and Oswego is small, but Scriba is even smaller. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, I used to live in Toronto, and I've heard of Oswego, but not never in Scriba. <laughs> yeah yeah horse head new york horse head new york i'm gonna look this up because i think i looked at it years ago i always wondered what happened to this woman horse heads horse head new york um oh yeah what's with people coming on with these incredibly cold looking backgrounds i know i'm thinking the same thing i'm getting colder and colder just looking at them hi ron i did a kitty mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose I could uh, uh, try again uh, to uh, uh, put put a background uh, on my. Yeah, yeah. Just at least it's not cold in winter. Hi, Rob. Yeah, I'm I'm freezing looking at you. I'm just freezing. Okay, Rob, so you're you, muted. So you'd so so you'd rather I uh, if if I do try that, you'd rather I put a summer picture on <laughs> or a happy picture. Something not well. Some people think it is happy. Look how pretty that is. That's uh, a pretty picture. Mm -hmm. Or you oh. could do something like this. It's pretty. Yeah, that's wild, man. Hey, I brought my. I brought my. Um, I bought this Christmas gift for myself. It's a. It's a. What do you call it? Disco light. A uh, dollar. Vincent, do you mind? Five. I got it at the dollar store. And so you turn out the lights and then it plays on the ceiling and stuff. It is bizarre. I carry it with me ever. I love it. You sing mine, Susan? It scares the cats shitless. Oh, does it? Mine could care Somebody, more. Like, mine Somebody would said my name. That and... I've got a couple does of Does it keep them in line? Because that would be. I can't. My cats are just. Whatever. But yours aren't even scared of raccoons. No, they sure aren't. Yeah bagpies or anything or so so this reflects what it's been like Jeez. today actually hit 45 but it's been sub freezing even in the daytime for two weeks we have contractors doing my rear pavers they started mm -hmm. four weeks ago and thought it would be a week but because of the cold temperatures it, it, they just get almost nothing done every day i feel so bad for the guys working out there but it's it's i have to shut my water because i need water to mix concrete and stuff i have to shut it off every night and let it drain again because it'll burst the pipes we have a new person, you guys. Be nice. This is George. I'm letting him in now. Hi, George. James. Hi, Vincent. Oh, and oh. Vincent, we're being recorded. Vincent, oh, just yes. let me know we're being recorded. We are, yeah. James at least has a picture that looks relatively nice. Did I miss last week? Yes, you did. I yeah. did. Yeah, you I sure did. Yeah. We had nobody to remind us that it was. <laughs> I was recorded. waiting for you to say and that. We, we were just stunned. We didn't know what to do with ourselves the whole yeah. night, right? You guys, we didn't even know if we were recorded or not. We had no idea. It was. Did you record it? I don't know. Yeah. It was incredibly unnerving. Yeah, just and there were har know. hardly any dad jokes. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh. Weird. Zeke is here. She wasn't here last week either. So it was weird that I when I didn't make it last week okay we almost didn't have trivia <laughs> oh jeez yeah, yeah, we, we took a vote we took a vote oh and it was God, very Jane. close to canceling it that's it not your house uh, I, I, no and i'm gonna change it i didn't know that was up here <laughs> you better watch out guys what you might have had on your screen you didn't realize you had on your screen so yeah i'm telling you finally put trivia night on my daughter's calendar because that's the only one i look at <laughs> Well, that's great to hear. Zeke just texted me. She says, is trivia tonight canceled? Because you have one coming up on Sunday. And I said, if I cancel the Thursday trivia, I think that we would have a revolution. Mm -hmm. would be not oh, you are doing one on Sunday? Yep. I put out a thing and several people have already responded, mm -hmm. huh? Did not Who'd you that? put it out to? Because I never saw it. It's, it's on, on Facebook. Facebook. Just on Facebook. Facebook oh, told Facebook. me you posted it to 13 locations. Yeah, I did. 
because I'm having it at 10 in the morning my time, which allows people from all over Europe to be able to play and the East Coast will be able to play. A lot of people have Monday off. So I thought it'd be nice to be able to have people. um, So I was letting a lot of people in Europe know. The Australians won't be able to make it. And India can't really make it. But So where in this alleged Facebook is it? Because I'm not seeing it. Um, Just put in social trivia by Susan and then it should say New Year's Day. Can you uh, can you send me an email or email? Yeah, well, because you, know, you know I don't have Facebook, so. Well, it's the same oh. link, right? Yeah, it's the same link. Let me let me just send it right here. I'll put it right here. How about that? So yeah, everybody just look at that. the same link at the right time on Sunday. I'll see it's if Brian wants time. to. I might be up by one p.m. Oh, that'd be great. I'll see if Brian wants to play. Yeah, that's he. He had. He seemed like he had a good time last time. He oh, he did. Yeah, because he, he, he normally gets up like five o'clock in the morning. So he, he says, "Well, I'll see how far I go." And he really got into it. <laughs> he was doing yeah, good in some of those categories. Yeah, he did, yeah. Wait, wait. So what? What time is it? Your time. Ten. My time. Okay. Ten a.m. Pacific. All right, so, it's, so, so Facebook be, corrected it because it says 1 p.m. for me. Okay. 1 o'clock on the East Coast. 1 p.m. Eastern. And a lot Noon. of people have sun, uh, Monday off because it's a holiday on. Um, yeah. So, oh, we got both our Janes are going to be here. Ooh. So noon, noon Central, right? <clears throat> right. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I, 10 a.m. Pacific, no. 11 a.m. And this is on the, this is on the 1st. January first, yes. Okay. If you can, if you can um, write it in the invitation, you should list time for each mm-hmm. time zone. Well, Facebook changes it, the time. It does it automatically. Okay. Yeah. But people can question it because they're like, yeah. "Well, wait a minute." Is yeah, because some some and, things it's 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 uneven. Some apps don't, and then well, yeah. And, like, and the I, whole problem, Susan, is the people who know you're out on the West Coast will say, "Oh, one o'clock. I'll you know I'm on the East Coast. I'll join at four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. By the way. <laughs> Susan, I'm on your I'm on your page and it's not I don't see it on your page. It's there. I just hit face. I just put it in the chat. Happy New Year. I saw it come up under Susan's post. There's a big flower. It's a big orange flower. And she posted to about 700 skeptic societies. (laughs) Said, "Hey, would you like to join us?" I hope you go on on every one of those. Let me scroll on down. Is it the same uh, link as this one? Same link. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. Aaron, yeah, are you on that many Facebook groups? And no, you're. No, you were posting the invites, and I follow you. So all of your posts kept coming. Kept. Oh, Susan like has in, just in my feed. I saw the invitation once, but then it said at the top, Susan posted in thirteen places. Okay, yeah. now that makes mm-hmm. sense. But I didn't realize you guys were getting an announcement every time I posted. Boy, people should not be missing this. Well, they, Facebook is weird with that though, because sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I see posts that somebody posted Alan's three got or four days ago, and I didn't see any, you know, and I didn't see anything, and then suddenly it's there. So it's it's just their timeline is weird. Yeah, yeah and and what's I'm really not, weird is I will on, get, I'll get things like that, and it'll say that it was posted five minutes ago, but it that when you look at the post, it says it was two days before. Yeah, it's like and, Facebook and can't tell what time it is. Yeah, Alan, yeah. Alan has a question. Hi, yes. Alan. Hi, Alan. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, Happy New Year. Is this Sunday? What is this? What is today? not yet? Um, um, I just want because I know this is what you're talking about, but I missed it when I came in. So <laughs> I, it, I, I did click on it. It said it could put the time into my calendar now. So I have it down as being noon Chicago time. What time is correct. it by you? 10 That's o'clock correct. by you? That is, that is correct. correct. That's okay. right. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That's so it. What I'm time... done for the day. Uh, <laughs> what time would it be for me? I'm, I'm mountain. So well, be, I'm that'd be 11. Hour. Mountain's 11. not invited. Yeah. Mountain, is, <laughs> mountain time would be 11 o'clock. <laughs> Are we around? Yeah. 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 I'm not sure. Yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We're setting our alarms. You guys are overthinking this. this isn't I'm hard, saying you, you know? really should just list the time that, zones in the invite. Oh my goodness. It's going to throw that everyone That's what off. I thought too, Jane. Because <laughs> when it first came up, it said it was one. And I said, okay, I can go to that. And then later, it appeared as one. I think I might have just missed, hmm. read it myself. 
But so I, and so o'clock. But it is. Oh my God! Good. I haven't had coffee yet. So Enough our first coffee. round tonight is our first round tonight is if you can identify what time on Sunday we're getting together, you get a point. <laughs> wow! So, and if it's ten o'clock on the West Coast, what time is? What it? are time zones? Where's How the do they work? <laughs> Are we using mono rules for this? <laughs> yeah, you guys are really overthinking this. I'm starting a trivia game on Sunday, the 1st. It's at 10 o'clock my time in the morning. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm in there? California, which is that big freaking state right there on the coast. Right over where all the important things happen. Mm. What time? It's not, it's not what as time big as... It's not as big as the West Coast state in Canada. What's the West Coast state in Canada then? British Columbia. Okay. I wasn't sure what was no, there. Are no there are no states in There are no states. I know, but I'm calling them states. Because he's an American. <laughs> Jane's got a crown on our tiara. Isn't that nice? Jane in California. New Year's. Happy New Year's. It's good to have you back. We haven't seen you in a while. I'm not singing right now, so I have tonight off. All right. See? But she has a but she has a crown on in case a song breaks out. She's ready. With a song. Susan. <laughs> is it gonna be the same link on Sunday? Yes. Okay. Same link. Are, Everything are you, is the same. Are I'm you doing all the categories this time? I haven't decided that, but I'm probably going to ask for volunteers because I know how much you guys have got all these categories. Oh, I could do a good one. I, I could do you a good one. one right before the game. Oh my God, look at everybody rush me. <laughs> rush, rush, rush. Okay, so who, January 1st, does anybody here want one so I don't have to talk them into it? Ken, yeah, I'll do Ka it. Carl. I'll do one. Rob. We're, get, we're getting a whole new group of people. I'll do the numbers one that I did two, three weeks ago. No, you'll have the same people. Oh, that'll be good and for us who ones. aren't the new group of people. Yeah. You'll have new and old. We won't remember anyway. So yeah, Some that's of us true. Will. We won't. Just make them model rolls. Some Hi, of you Hi, will. Sagan. That's correct, Carl. Hi, Sagan. I love your new haircut. It looks wonderful. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. It looks really great. Very fresh. Very, very unique. Yes. yes. Lots style. of body. New Year. So Zeke is going to have a helper. I've got a new haircut too. Yeah, and Bob got his hair cut. Oh, Jim cut his hair too, huh? I think wow. my hair no, cut just that got next time. Down. I like that. <laughs> hi, hi, babe. When I, when I say I got a haircut, I mean I, I cut my hair. Do you do that yeah. every every December, Bob? I used to starting in 2017, but in, in 2019, after Christmas, I just said, oh, I think I'll keep this beard. And each spring I had to decide whether I was going to shave for a couple months and then start growing it because you got to start growing on March 1st. And every time I just said, oh, I'll just let it go, let it go. So now it was driving me crazy. So finally Santa came back. I, I did Santa and I said, I'm going to take a break. So. Got it. I it Don off. used to have a big beard like this, but he always had to cut it when it got to the length where it would catch fire when he was welding. Oh, that's there a good go. idea. Well, I need to talk to Faith about her about her playlist. I, I, I went, listened to half of it. <laughs> I went and listened. I listened to your to your playlist, and when I listen to playlists on Spotify during you know, on a work day or whatever, I just let it continue. The playlist finishes. Mm -hmm. And Spotify goes off and decides to play other things that thinks are the same. Your playlist took me into Christmas songs I never knew existed, and it was fantastic. <laughs> You're was very fantastic. welcome. And I also <laughs> and I also had company over on Friday, and I did play your uh, Whamageddon Safe playlist, which was various versions of Last Christmas, not the Wham version. Yes. And I played it, and about. 45 minutes to an hour into everybody together. Nobody had mentioned. And I said, has anybody noticed how good my playlist is? And somebody said, it's just, it's just last Christmas over and over. Isn't it? I said, it absolutely is. <laughs> so, so Faith, I love your playlist. You're welcome. Thank I, you. I, always, I, I cleaned the house. I was cleaning my office. I rearranged my office. 
and cleaned out all the drawers to your playlist. That's why I only got halfway through. <laughs> I don't normally listen to playlists. I usually oh, Christmas carols <laughs> like Deck of Salt with Boston Charlie, Walla Walla Wash, and Gamma Zoo. <laughs> yep. I don't have that one. Yeah, that was fun. That was yeah. fun. So uh, you guys start cool. sharing your playlist in the future, and that'll be even more yeah. fun. All right, what time deck, is it? Gosh, I can't see. And, the then, how many, uh, and then how many people here know uh, <laughs> "Twas in the Moon of Wintertime when all the birds had fled? So no. mighty Gucci Manna to St. Angel Choirs oh. instead. Who's saying that? Uh, Christmas carols. Yeah. Yeah. For me. Like, um, I don't think it's well known outside of Canada. The Huron Carol. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so we're. What time is it? It's time to start. Nine, Twenty. Nine Twenty. Oh no, it's not quite. We're still got a few minutes. No. no. I've uh, okay. made. Uh, Ron is our our troll hunter and <laughs> popping people out. Do we do that? And and muter. And we have troll muter. hunters. So I hope you'd be looking for the. <laughs> So, Bob, I met a, a fellow Santa Claus, uh, yeah. the, guy, the guy who runs the landscape business uh, who, who's doing my backyard. Uh, he's got a beard that has to be a foot long and wow. looks just like Santa Claus. And and I asked him, and he, yes, he, he does. He is so busy going posing with people for photographs and whatever. And then I just happened to randomly ask him, uh, you know, ha, ha, has anything else come out of the big beard? Oh, yes, actually, he's in the he's in the movie Unorthodox as a, a Jewish Orthodox person in the background in several oh. scenes. And uh, yeah, they actually sent me the screenshots of that, uh, that movie and were all the ones he's in. And it reminded me of what happened to Saunders because like, you know, he's two days on the set and it takes all that and he's in the movie for five seconds. And the same, you know, the same thing happened. And he was on the New York City street, like it was 90 degrees out and he's wearing this heavy, heavy stuff and the giant hat and then they're dying. <laughs> But he got his two seconds on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I told him I wrote the uh, I wrote the Wikipedia article for the for the author and, and the for, book and for the book. Oh, the and movie. The, and, the, the and then book. they got really interested. I have to go read that Wikipedia article. It was it's a wonderful Wikipedia okay. article. Okay, the uh, the book and the movie. This okay. The it, it's called Orthodox. Unorthodox. Unorthodox. Un Unorthodox. So it's this a terrific is terrific movie. Is this about somebody who left the Orthodox? Jewish yes, Deborah, Deborah Feldman. It's, oh, it's yeah, a, a fictionalized version of her <laughs> biographical book of the same name. Really good. Really, really good. Are we? We have two new players. They have not chosen to reveal themselves to us yet. They're being shy. I want to ask <laughs> Vincent if he knows what nationality uh, Santa Claus is. Well, 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 he's got a Canadian post postal. He's code. Polish. H O H O H O. Polish. Polish. North, North, North Polish. North Polish. 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 Hi, Mark. Oh, yeah, we have North we have Polish. Mark here. Hi, Mark. Where are you at? Oh, you're on mute. You got to turn yourself off mute. I've I've actually heard that Santa has a lot of Jewish friends, and he sort of considers himself Jewish. Uh, <laughs> Where are you at, Mark? Canada. Canada. We got another Canadian, eh? Yay. What part of Canada, Mark. though? Canada's uh, a big place. It is that. It, that's quite true. Uh, somewhere between Ottawa and Montreal. Ottawa. And the Montreal. part of Canada where people live is pretty small. That's true, especially oh. compared to the it's, rest of the country. Let's say the population is mostly concentrated in, along the U.S. border. Uh, specifically, what part of between Montreal and Ottawa? Uh, near Cornwall. Uh, it's that, that, well, uh, Ontario, like Ontario, Quebec, ours together. I'm close to the joining point. Does it have a name? Yeah. Cornwall. He's trying to avoid telling us where he lives. Leave him alone. <laughs> it's not like you're going to find him. They have chat. so much snow up there right now. Yeah, you know, we, might, we might just show up on the doorstep. You never know. We, yeah, one of my know. friends that lives in Canada. Do you know my friend? I was trying to make a map with my hand, and well, it didn't really work that well. So, anyway. That's from Michigan. So well, there's a little yeah. place called Alexandria just west of the Ontario. Did I freeze or did everybody else freeze? Did I freeze? Everybody else froze? Go on.
Hey, Tell me a small know. place then, because I know I it for Hume. No, I know it. I know, but no, I don't, I don't think I've ever. Chris, the uh, Chris, did the, Chris is the uh, is I probably still mm. is the architectural um, mm. uh, critic or something like that. Did I ever? Even, I don't even know if I ever talked to him even, but I might have. I, I, I wouldn't that's, remember. That's that's what a music degree got him. You guys all froze me. Where'd you guys go? You went away. The recording yeah, we stopped, and then you came back. Uh, you you guys all just froze, and that is a freaky feeling. <laughs> It's just like everybody's it's cold here. Maybe, maybe um, Zoom needs to update their software like Southwest. <laughs> Welcome yes, to yes, my yes. world. Susan, has Little you software know? energy get a life, you know. Have, have you declared a designated survivor mm -hmm. in case you get disconnected? Yeah, it's Ron. Ron? Who's Ron? Ron. Well, I said Ob Ron. Obi Ron. Oh. Obi Ron Kenobi. Yeah, Obi Ron. We're in charge right now. I've already made that clear for this moment. I can't okay, do Jane. anything. We should all pretend to freeze at the same time. So, you know, oh, so yeah, like you guys would be very good at that. <laughs> we do want to freeze. <laughs> well, well, honestly, honestly. Carly, your cat gave you away. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that'd make it even weirder. Rob has frozen. Rob's always frozen. He's in the ice. <laughs> Tap on the I'm tapping on the screen. He's gonna wake up now. Watch. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Oh, he's good. Nah, he moved. <laughs> oh, that's too easy. Then he Where'd, where'd you all go? Where'd you all go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Into so we're void. about to start. I start. Very good. I'm gonna start. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, can you look? Are you frozen? Yeah. Yes, yes, Adrian, no problem. So where am I at? Oh, Adrian's first. Hey, how about this? I'm going to make you go first, Adrian. You're first anyway. Okay, so we have two new people. George, you can unfreeze yourself. And Mark, so you guys are on. What else is new? So you guys have to be very nice. Everybody be nice tonight. We've got two people that are not been here before. They only get the one chance that we have to be nice. So, where are they doing categories? No, we <laughs> no, no, we only get to be nice to them if they're doing categories for the first time. I thought that was George, the... George down. Yeah, we... He's wearing a hat down there at the bottom. George is uh, in training in GSOW. What hat? What hat at the bottom? What? He's on the screen. We're, we're not... He's got a, Susan a, a, always a thinks we all hat. see the same frames as she sees. Wow, <laughs> Susan. Yeah, we're, we're not. We're not here to molly a bunch years. of crybabies. So there is a George here. It's a it's a picture right there with a big hat. You might. Want I, I don't. Name. I don't even see it. Oh, George two pages. Got his picture off. George is on my second page. Oh, there's two pages now. Oh, there he is. Yes. Is. Okay, so there's George. He's from Sacramento, and he's in training GSOW training. And hey, then George. Mark is in Canada. Hi, George. I'm from Chico, California. There you go. He's got a voice. Okay, sounds great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put you guys in your category, your your, uh, your <coughs> rooms. George and Mark, do you guys have you ever used uh, breakout rooms before? I actually was here before, but never mind. So, okay, right. pretend, okay, so we don't have to be polite to um, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so so Mark we've already been rude enough I to not recognize anyway, but I remember, I remember that I don't. You're not allowed to look up the uh, questions. So. Yeah, we don't let you look yeah. it up. What? We're not allowed to look up the questions. Okay. Yeah, you look up the questions, yeah. it's not the answers. Yes, George, have you? Do you know how to use Zoom? Have you used a breakout room before? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty literate with Zoom, but I don't recall using a breakout room. Okay, so you're going to get a message. It's going to pop up on your screen in a couple minutes, or in a minute, or, oh, yeah, a couple minutes, and it's going to say, Susan Gerbic has invited you to go to your to breakout room number, whatever. Just push the button that it tells you, and don't push any buttons that say leave the event or leave the the uh, red buttons. Don't press the red button. Don't press the red button. Go, go for the blue pill, not the red pill. And so, and then once you're in your team, there's going to be about five of you guys in a team. You guys are going to choose a team name. Whoever's whoever's uh, uh, got Mark on their team and George on the team, make sure you guys guide them on how to do what to handle next. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Here comes Kyle. So I'm going to put you guys in your rooms. We've got five rooms tonight. 
And leading off, we have Adrian. Adrian's team. The second team is going to be led by Jamie. Let me put you in your second. <coughs> one. Third okay. is going to be Bob. Let me make sure I have Bob in the third room. Kerrig is back. We haven't seen Kerrig in a while. That's really nice to have you back. Jane stopped singing just long enough for her to come here. Uh, Jane in Oregon is going to be room four. She's leading room four. There's Jane in Oregon. There she is. Four. And then room five is Kevin. All right, Kevin. Okay, so let me just, I've got all the team leaders in there. Hey. Okay, so one looks good. Two. Uh, three. Is Carl in a team all by himself? No. <laughs> okay. We're going to, um, oh, I need to put somebody else in three. Okay, four looks great. There's something going Five. on. Five. What, Jamie? Oh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> let's put, let's separate you two. Okay, so let's do that. All right. Hi, Kyle. I have to fix the capitalized. Good evening. My my daily chore is to capitalize your name. You you've been Jane from California, Felton. I always have to fix your names because I can't handle it. I can't deal with it. <laughs> okay, so George, follow the links that you're going to get right now. Okay, and get to it. So everybody, help George and Mark navigate their new stuff. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, I should probably pause this. There's no reason anybody wants to see me. Bah, bah, bah. Hey, Vincent, is there a recording? See, you guys beat me to it. Darn it. <laughs> I, I was just ask, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I don't. The joke has failed. I was going to ask Adrian. I was going to tell <laughs> Adrian. Uh, yeah, we're on to be. Gail, uh, you've got your Elizabeth the first background. Who's got the? You're Elizabeth? on mute. You're on mute. Who has? I, I, I do because when I did my Elizabeth the first, I wanted to use that background. And I couldn't figure out how to do it during the break. They taught me how. So I've got to use it now that I did it, right? And I know how to do it now. Wait, I what learned a lot of this. Yep, it's cookies. They're suitors. Yeah, are you going to match? Oh, them? oh, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> Gail had a category that Elizabeth the First, Queen Elizabeth the First, used to make invented oh. popularized gingerbread cookies because she made them the shape of the suitors. Yeah, and then she would match match people up with them right um yeah. like cut out dolls or something Ooh. okay all right got it i got it. that's clever okay and that's leonard, how I, yeah leonard's taking a psychedelic trip wow man alan's got <laughs> Al, oh yeah, yeah we, you know what so. we have another person <laughs> who used to play trivia all the time that that uh had that chair and then alan got it now okay wow well, we're, we're we're in there yeah okay. where, where is jeff we haven't seen him in ages I don't know. Well, why don't you write to him and tell yeah, him where he's getting his ass back here? Him and <laughs> I could tell him, but it, I think it'd be better if I came from you guys. Okay, so here we go. One of my favorite parts of the whole game is to find out what you guys have decided to name yourselves. That's always so fun. So we have, oh, I forgot to write you guys all down. <laughs> Adrian, Carolyn, Aaron, Gail, James, and Zeke are in, in room one. No. 
Yeah. Where's yeah. Rowan? Oh, yeah, right. One. Sure. <laughs> I, I, think the they're waiting, I think they're waiting for me to give the name, and I would love to be able to figure out quickly how to, oh, there we go. Done. I, I, I would like to use the, the second E with the accent over it, but I don't know how to change that font quickly. So, Pele. Yeah. Just simply okay. Pele. Oh, yeah, he, he <laughs> passed away. He died, he died this morning. Oh, Pele. Yeah, somebody, somebody, ah, Pele. We had a yeah. trivia question about him the other week, so we killed him. Who did it? Oh, yeah. he's not here. Who, who did yeah. it? The, the, can, the, it cancer, the cancer did it, and then the 82 years old contributed. Well, it was the fact that he was mentioned it. in this trivia game. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, Matt did it. It's usually, what's her name? Uh, Peggy. <laughs> All right, Jamie, Janine, Carl, my, Mark, I'm sorry, Mark, Rob, and Vincent. We are the shameless, suspiciously wealthy Jew-ish employees of Goldman Sachs with master's oh, degrees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, I got to say this. Shameless, suspiciously wealthy Jew-ish employees of Goldman Sachs with master's degrees. I, yeah. That thing makes me so mad. Every, I just, every time I just I can't speak, believe somebody actually said, I didn't say Jewish, I said Jewish. Yep. Yeah, I think it's funny. That. That's what they think. I bet he's been making that joke all his life, and he thinks it's been funny the whole time, too. What oh. did I miss? And it's not. <laughs> it's a New York, it's a, it's a um, congressman got elected in, in New, from New York. Guess which party? Republican. Uh -huh. and, and it has been uh, determined okay. that, it has been determined that 99%, if not 100% of his resume and what he ran on was all a lie. Oh, I, I saw that briefly and I didn't even read it. Or, or, just, not, or just not really truthful facts. Depends <laughs> on which side happily, Alternative facts. District They're alternative facts. Ago. And the things that, the yeah, things that are, are going kind of under the radar, I think so far, but is, is now going to be officially investigated, is he went from declaring his income was $50,000 in 2020 <laughs> to declaring it was millions of dollars in 2022 and yeah. there's no explanation for this <clears throat> yeah it's been really... an amazing story to listen yes. unraveling i watched well, it too and, I, I and would... the most the most amazing is how quiet the republican party is and yeah. saying, well, not really amazing but yeah I oh i know i i amazing is my heart my heart I, it will be interesting to see whether he's actually a u.s citizen yeah. He told the yeah. workers that he was born in Brazil. Brazil. And he claimed he was born in New York. And so who knows yeah. if he's. The Democrat who ran against him was interviewed today and he was really funny. He said, uh, Yeah, and yeah, and Santos, George Santos, if that is his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole thing makes me pissed off. Okay, so let's go to the next group, which is Alan, Bob, Faith, George, Jane in California. Who are you guys tonight? I don't know. Who wrote it down? What oh, a great game name. Okay, I can say I can, I'll say it. Santa took Southwest. That's why you didn't get any presents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that explains. Oh, that's dark. That's cruel. Poor, poor kids. Yeah, we, the, the original version, the reindeer went on strike, but that made it too wordy. So okay, but that's so. the backstory if you wonder why. Santa took South. Oh. Oh yeah, Pile. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> South Santa took Southwest, which is why you didn't get didn't any presents. Get any presents? This thank you, Karen. Yeah, mm. thank you, Karen. I that I can copy that, and it'll just be nice and done. Those little things. Okay, wonderful. Southwest, Pile, and George Soros. Well, he figures his name is Soros. I'm surprised they even elected him with a last name like that. His, his last name's not Soros. Santos. 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 Oh, Santos. I thought it was Soros for some reason. Okay, never mind. Just ignore that. Well, right. He That's says it's Santos. So we have Jane in Oregon, Karen, Carrig, so, Leonard, and Terry. Who are you guys so doing? The same vein. We have Southwest. Where's my luggage? It's the one with the gold bar in it. <laughs> uh, South to Southwest. This should be interesting. Go the letters in the middle count too, Susan. 
<laughs> the letters? The letters in the middle. middle Santos what? and Soros. You know, yeah. oh, there's a uh, no, well, there's okay. we're looking oh, at the Oh, I didn't about Southwest. You're scaring me. Let's see. Me what's, uh, <laughs> okay, what's with Southwest? Uh, uh, did, did, didn't every uh, airline have problems uh, getting from point uh, to point? Not the same yeah. they were yeah. much worse. <laughs> nobody, nobody had thousands of cancellations each day, except all, Southwest. All yeah. of the yeah. others yeah. combined yeah. were a, a couple of hundred. Southwest yeah. had thousands, thousands. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and in the thousands. articles I read, Southwest didn't know where their equipment or people were. Yeah, they, they weren't even sure who was where and where their planes were. Oh, there's okay. a wonderful article about it. Somebody just put it up. Who was it? Karen, did you know? I think Wendy, Wendy shared it. It was really an excellent article. Well, planes are going to show up it, at a pawn shop. It, it, I got it, didn't it from Wendy. Explain yeah, I get it. Somebody put it over here for for since we got so many Southwest people here. And last but not least in the trivia game tonight, we have Jim, Kevin, Kyle, Romero, and Ron. What do you got tonight? And Ron. I see you changed your name. I'm going to let it slide, dude. In honor of Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the group name? Yeah, that's our name. We didn't even mention B Bailey. But we did. But look what happened. Oh, you guys. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Yeah, oh, we killed off Betty the White first last and the time. Last we group didn't mention. The same, and then the yeah, we did. Oh. We did mention Bailey, though. Okay, so Deborah's here. Hello, Deborah. Howdy. You on a team. Whose team doesn't have as many? Our team. No, I'm kidding. I, I okay, so this one has one, two. We three, have five, but we could four, use this. Five. Team four. I'm thinking it might be four because, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Why don't you wait for the scores of the first round and, and, and see well, if people play, play that? <laughs> On the lowest okay, score team. Okay, never mind. Mono's here. Tell you what, Susan, you could give me powers. Now I'll go around to each team and then I'll pick which one I want to be on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to fix you guys. Mono's here. Hi, Mono. Hello. So Mono and Deborah are going to, I've got, okay. Hi, Mono. Hi, Mono. Hello. They're Hi. on team six. Oh, team six. Okay, so we're set. <laughs> So we are starting off. Okay, welcome everybody to our game. This is so nice to have you here. Last game of the year. I know it's going to be crazy and weird, but we are going to manage to get through 2022. I can't believe it. We still didn't skip a single Thursday at all. And because you guys are all so wonderful and re rewarding you right now by letting you know that on this Sunday, the first of the year, I am going to throw a special game, which will allow people from all over the country, well, Europe and, and you know, the UK and the East Coast to have a much better time joining. I've heard you call out my name, yelling at me, please, Susan, please, can we please have a game at an earlier hour? And we're going to have it at 10 a.m. starting in Salinas, California, which means that if you're on if you're like one hour time zone earlier than me, that means you start at 11 a.m. If you're on the East Coast, then you start at 1 p.m. That's how it works, you guys. Okay. The Facebook link is up. If you want the link again, I will give it to you. But it's probably going to have the correct time zone for you when you look at the link. And it's the same zone link. Nothing's changing. And I've got two volunteers to do trivia for that night, for that day. So I'm just letting you know, the people who do write the trivia questions, you should know, we're going to have probably a bunch of people who've never played before or who have rarely played and a little more in the Europe, hopefully, um, possibly a lot more East Coast people. So just letting you know that ahead of time. So tonight, tonight, you all, on the 29th of December, 2022 we have five teams five 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 teams that are going to are going <laughs> to they're going to for for the amazingness of being the year end of 2022 game winners all the prize money that you can imagine because you're imagining it so the five teams are tonight on game number 140 season 3 episode 31 Right, yeah. Are 
Team one is Pele. Okay. Team two is shameless, suspiciously wealthy Jewish employees of Goldman Sachs with master's degrees. Team three is Santa Chick Southwest, which is why you didn't get any presents this year, versus <laughs> Southwest, where's my luggage? It's the one with the gold bar in it, versus <laughs> we didn't even mention Pele and look what happened. Here we go. So leading off tonight is Adrian, fresh from the from Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighbor to the north, the north of us. And she's in a whole different time zone, which is really interesting how this time zone stuff works. So we're going to have start off with Adrian, followed by Jamie, who's in Thailand, versus Bob, who's uh, I don't see any chickens. Where's your chickens? Where's Bob? Nope. Oh, there's a chicken. Okay, chickens there. All is well with the world if Bob's got his chicken. <laughs> versus Jane, the one, Jane, who's in Oregon. Versus Kevin. All right. So we've got you guys all scattered all over multiple countries. So the powers to be are already there in your hands, Adrian. Okay. So Ron is going to be leading our fearless fight against all the trolls that show up. Please do not <laughs> shout out any answers. I Remember don't... that we are recording, so the world is watching. So um, hopefully we're going to get that Netflix show any day now. And <laughs> all 12 of the viewers out there, thank you. Thank you for watching our show. And um, uh, you are welcome to ask questions of anybody within hearing range of your shouting in your household right now, but no books or blah, 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 or computers, whatever, to use finding the information. Where's Cindy, by the way? I don't see her in here. Okay. Adrian, it is yours. And then Ron, would you please mute us after we hear the cataray? So the cataray is, I can hardly speak. Is it Canadian? Is it Canadian? Is it Canadian? <laughs> Did I mute you now? <laughs> no, yeah, you should. <laughs> I'm thinking, it might be beneficial. <laughs> the category is a mystery place. So the if you figure out the mystery place, it might help you figure out some of the uh, answers. And hopefully it makes sense because I will be honest with you, I made this with blurred vision, vertigo, and an oncoming migraine. So it <laughs> should be really wild. It be really interesting. Should be something else then. All right. I, I just used my computer. For my <laughs> is this is this delayed reaction to falling into the frozen lake? Yeah, must be that. <laughs> she took one for the team and wrote a category when she wasn't feeling well. Good for you. Thank yeah. you so much, Adrian. Well, yeah. It it, it um as I was writing it, my my vision started to go. So that was, that's always an, an I, I, there's no pain then. It's just, I can't see very well. And then the vertigo started and the pain's just starting to, to kick in now. So okay. I'm going to really try okay. to stick it out. In other words, everybody and... be very nice. <laughs> so and the, send it, your healing thoughts to Adrian and Canada. Yeah. And yeah. Canadian. I want some crystal, oh, and, Terry's cat. you know, positive energy, you know, if, cause, because essentially my negative thoughts have brought this onto myself. So there you go. That's it. Just like Scientology. Oh. Okay. It's going to get your cat. All right. Before she totally fades out, I'm going to mutate everybody. So I love um, that. Thank you, Ron. Mutated. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So the first question for the mystery place. This airport was opened in 1938, but wasn't named an international airport until 1949. By the 1950s, this airport was one of the busiest international airports in the world. Though its use has diminished since the 1960s, it remains an important air traffic control center for Atlantic flights. What is the name of this airport? Okay, in this place, there are these birds that have a stocky build with large beaks that become brightly colored during the breeding season. They are also short winged and short tailed. What are these birds? My favorite question, because I get silly sometimes. These are all town names that come from this mystery place, except for one. Name the one that is not a town name in this place. So the first one is Dildo. The second, and these are all actual names of places, by the way. <laughs> so the next one is Come by Chance. 
then Dead Man's Flats, Heart's Content, and Witless Bay. So fun. I think it would be fun to live in any of those. Oh, that's weird. Okay, one second here. All good names for bands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I took off. Uh, just give me one second. Was that okay. question three? That was question three. Okay, so we need question two, right? No, question two is there. About oh, the there it is. I'm sorry. I posted you're, question You're having one migraines two. affecting your vision, too? <laughs> no, I, I, I had, because uh, Deborah I entered the room a little bit late because she got kicked out and got back. I intentionally posted question one just for her. Ah, I see. So, so, I, question... so I, I, I'm looking on the chat and I'm going, wow, there's question one. Where's question two? I'm not sure. Never mind. It's just me. I think the whole thing, let me see. Yeah, it's all there. So question four, all of the following are types of food commonly found in this place, except for one. The food that is not commonly found is Rocky Mountain oysters, Towtons, scrunchions, or baked apple pie. <laughs> Isn't this a great place? <laughs> and the next one, question number five is according to the government of this place, icebergs are categorized by size and shape. A bergy bit measures a less than one meter or for Rob, 3.3 feet. B, <laughs> one, <laughs> one meter less than five meters or Rob, 16.4 feet. C, five meters to 15 meters. D, 16 meters to 45 meters. I can do length conversions, just not temperature conversions. Ah, there you go. Rob, you're getting a reputation, dude. <laughs> getting? Oh, well, the temperature, <laughs> the, the temperature for all of these is zero C. <laughs> Number six. This large dog shares a namesake with this mystery place. They were bred as working dogs, and according to Wikipedia, quote, they are known for their giant size, intelligence, tremendous strength, calm disposition, love of children, and loyalty. They excel at water rescue, life-saving because of their muscular build, thick double coat, webbed paws, and swimming abilities, end quote. What is the name of this dog? Number seven, this person had his leg amputated in 1980 when he was 19 due to cancer. Inspired by Dick Trom, the first amputee to complete the New York City Marathon, he trained for what was to become named, quote, the Marathon of Hope, end quote. On April 12th, 1980, this person started his journey to raise money for cancer, re cancer research by dipping his prosthetic into the ocean before embarking upon a cross-country marathon. After running for 143 days, he had to stop as his cancer had returned, spreading to his oh. lungs. He died nine months later. Who was this person? Oh, that's really awfully sad. Isn't that awful? Thanks, Adrian, for bringing the mood down. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have started with that one and then put in dildo afterwards. That would have been... <laughs> Maybe. You have to be really careful where you put a dildo in. <laughs> yep. Sorry. No, I'll be back. My easy. computer's rebooting. Okay. Welcome again, Mark and George. <laughs> I, I was, I was going to say, Adrian, would you care to rephrase that? <laughs> you should arrange your questions yeah. in order of cheerfulness. There you go. I should do that. <laughs> Number eight. Peas pudding is a traditional part of a jigs dinner often served on Sundays in this mystery place. What is the main ingredient of peas pudding? And number nine, in the 1990s, many people left small communities in this mystery place due to the collapse of a very important industry. What was this industry? Be as specific as possible. And then to be even more confusing, because the my head was getting strange. Is it dildos? Stranger. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? After the collapse of the previous industry, a new industry arose in the 1990s. What is this industry? And again, we need specificity. So for both of these, I want, uh, like, I don't want just something like juicing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would have to be orange juicing, that kind of thing. 
All right. So here we go. So going, we're going to go into your teams. Ron, do you want to, or Adrian, you want to put us in your rooms? Okie dokie. I have to remember how to do that. Brain not working. Um, do I have, I'm, I don't have hosting ability, so I can't do it. Ron has to do it. How could you not have hosting ability? Oh, I just looked. I don't have it. Because you left and came back? Oh, that could be. Yeah, because yeah. you had, had, you did have them. You have them now. My okay. thing says you're a co host. Oh, Susan just made you. I, mean, I just did it. Just but did yeah, it. she had it. And then I think I had signed I had, tro I had sound. It wouldn't connect with the sound. So I had to go back and shut off and came back. Okay, yeah. mono. Yeah. Uh, you're in three. All right. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I knew one of them, so I put the the answer in already, but I don't know anything else. I was going to say, I think I know the place. Which place? It's Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's the answer to number six. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Newfoundland is definitely the answer to number six. So do we know what Newfoundland's airport is called? Newfoundland uh, Airport? Old. No, I don't know. No. I don't know if these birds are in the area of Newfoundland, but this sounds like they might be boobies. Oh, that could very well be. I was thinking puffins, but I don't know. Sure. I'm not sure where puffins are. Are puffins up north there? Or north. You know what? Puffins I, are north. I think it's puffins because I believe that I have seen these in the pictures. The reason why I know it's Newfoundland is because Adrian was there and she took a ton of pictures mm -hmm. and I think I remember seeing what? pictures. The only boobies I, I know are blue, know. blue footed. Are there other boobies yeah, that are not near the Galapagos? Let me put Kendra Oh, that, is that where the boobies are primarily? That's, then, where, the, then, that's, that's where the that, blue footed boobies are. I don't know if there are others and if they're like wide then, ranging. Then I'll, then I'll withdraw my thought. What are we looking at here? We're, we're looking at this is, is a, I lost them. How that beaked them. bird. Sure if it's not a tropical toucan, the only fat beaked bird that's cold weather I know of is puffins. Look okay. how clean her desktop is. Isn't that nice? Yeah, because my first yeah. thought was two toucan, but now that yeah. it's up there, then no, then yeah. it can't be. Cold weather. I puffins. think I Okay, I just removed the sharing. You can find there it. There we so go. It's, okay. It's so a puffin then. That's, yeah, that's yeah, I can go with puffins. That sounds good. Leading guess. Leading Gail, guess. Did, did you find your document, Gail? I just found it, and now I'm going to get it put back up. Okay. Because I, I have them, I have them copied also into a text document. So if we needed to, we could switch over. So I three's going to be a guess. Isn't I it? had it a second ago, and I lost it again. This is so strange. Here we go. Yeah, I think it's still there. There it is. Okay. Now, what we decided that these were puffins. Yep. Yeah. Leading puffins. guess puffins. They're definitely a northern bird. Yeah. So they're, of the city names, they're, they they're all legitimate city names. It's just one of them is not in Newfoundland. One of them sounds more like, well, like Heart's Content sounds like it could be something in Newfoundland. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. area with lots of things to contemplate. Deadman's Flats. Say? I don't know. Flats? I was thinking, I was thinking the other way in that Newfoundland is a very hard, harsh you know, area of the country that was settled. And most of these names are very, besides dildo, most of these names have that harsh sound to them. And I was wondering, is Hearts Content just too calm and pretty for that area? <laughs> I mean, we, we all look at, at Newfoundland now as a wonderful place to visit, but it wasn't that way all along. Yeah, I think of it as more conservative than dildo would suggest. Hmm. And if there was a person named dildo, <laughs> they weren't naming it after dildos. <laughs> well, well did a dildo <laughs> mean the same thing? I mean, isn't that a modern thing? No. I mean, I'm sure we've had some sort of dildo, but has it been always known as a dildo? I'd have to check the etymology. <laughs> it's We're not allowed to look right that now. up, Susan. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's a guess. All right, so number four, what do you think? 
What are we going to do for what, three? What did we guess on three? So I was, doing... I was just moving on. You guys stopped me. <laughs> but we need to come. We're not going to learn anything new. If so we're making an uh, if we're making an educated guess, I like Aaron's idea that uh, Heart's Content is the most positive. It sticks out for being different than the others, in that they're more okay. I'm fine. If with you that. have to what survive in a harsh place, the other names. Well, I'll buy sense. that partly because of what Susan said. Since I I there was a a ta there was a place in my in my in Flint uh, that was called Crapo Street, and my father went around for Crapo Street. They have a Crapo Street. It was Crapo, and it was his name. So mm -hmm. it could be that Dildo was somebody's name. Oh, Zeke yeah. said that I think. Yeah, not me. Yeah, Erlen, so what do you think? Unless anyone wants to argue yeah. it, we can go with D and move on on three. Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. good to me. Yeah. What types of food right. commonly found in this place? Number four is A, Rocky Mountain oysters. Those are from Colorado. That doesn't okay. mean they don't yeah. have Aren't them. Aren't they in other places too? There's a lot Eat of them. goats and, and stuff. And, uh, are there, and is there a lot of pork it, uh, or beef there? It's usually Rocky Mountain morsel so made out of cattle. There, there's lots of other places that serve that, but the term Rocky Mountain oysters is generally from the, from the Rockies. Colorado, That's yeah. true. So they still have them, they just don't call them that. And it's a good way to- Is it a big cattle area? Because the oyster oh. sounds, if you don't know what it is, oyster sounds like something that would be a yeah. different one. <laughs> yeah, so you're saying, Adrian, you think it was trying to be funny by fooling us? Like, we don't know what that is? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have no idea about five because it involves numbers. Do we think a birdie bit means it's a very small iceberg? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never heard of birdie bit before. And could it could an iceberg be only a meter in size? That I don't think they would give it that name. They would yeah. like it wouldn't even be have a legal definition at a meter. I, I'm I'm not sure at what point they would, but I think less than a meter doesn't sound like that's more like an ice cube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so if you were if you were <laughs> in government and making distinctions about icebergs, what would, Bergy Bits probably their smallest named measurement of iceberg. What would that measurement be? I might go with B, but I don't have any logical reason for it. Yeah, well, I think would B or C. Is a small but, iceberg, right? That's my thought. I mean, I'm thinking of what can cause damage, so. Uh, maybe, maybe. B, I mean, a, six, because... a sixteen foot, a sixteen foot size iceberg could cause damage. I also I want to know: is sixteen foot slash five meters? Is that the full size of the iceberg, or just the part we're looking at? Because there's much more of an iceberg is below the surface than above it. I'm sure it's yeah. the full size. I have a full size. Measure. And they're saying how they categorize mm. it, so they probably don't go below the surface. Mm. I kind of like B. I like, I like B it. or C. B or C. 49 feet is awfully big to be called. Yeah, 16 is pretty good size too if it crashes into something. But Yeah. That's what I'm hearing is the consensus, right? B? I'm going to lean yeah. on B, yep. Go B. Okay. Six is definitely Newfoundland. No idea about seven. Who wanted to run the marathon? Hmm. How would know. we even know that? I don't, I have no idea. Is that a common, I mean, like, is it somebody we would know? Is it I, 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 I kind of remember this, kind of remember the story, um, but I don't remember any names to go with it. So here's what I'm thinking. He's named, something is named after him that's famous. Probably. And that only 19 or 20. That's why we would know who it was, like. Still doesn't help, such but, he, such but you're marathon. probably right. Is there a famous <laughs> marathon that has a man's name in it? Marathon of Hope. The, maybe they changed the name Marathon of Hope to Bob Newhart's Marathon. What was to become? Well, well the, the question says he trained for what was to become the Marathon of Hope. So I'm assuming oh. that whatever marathon he was training for when he passed is what they renamed the Marathon of Hope. So... Maybe his name was Mr. Hope. I know what it is. His last name is Dildo. 
<laughs> and they named the city Dildo after him. Oh, 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 Susan. Hope Dildo, is that his name? D-I-L-D-O, okay. Let, let's go to eight, because we don't know seven. Oh, my God. Um, He's pudding at a Jigs dinner. Oh, that tells me Jigs fall of capitalized, nothing. <laughs> capitalized J. What's a jig? Is I always thought peas, peas pudding was peas, literally. P as that's what I was peas. thinking is peas. It, that was it could be. peas. Yeah. I think that's what peas pudding is. Made of peas? If you're in Newfoundland, oh, okay. All right. What's Susan, the ingredient? Susan, pudding isn't a dessert in a lot of countries. Really? That's weird. Yeah, pudding is is like a casserole. What? Really? Pudding. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a dessert. So they have like tap tapioca casseroles? No. It's like no, how in they, England all the but, pies have meat. They can have like but, yeah, meat pies, meat but, pudding, fish pudding. But, you know, the, you the English the English and the Irish um have uh bread pudding. No, not bread pudding, that's not a good example. Um that's but there's 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 a sausage, blood pudding. Which, yeah. is, which, which is a sausage that's made. Right. So, but pudding is is kind of a term for it's a blend of foods put together. What are the big agricultural um, things in Newfoundland? Either animal know. or plant. I don't know. I thought it was pretty far north, and I think. I think the herring. Pickled I think herring. The peas pudding is pickle herring. Like, Made out of could be, it could be a fish, cold water fish. Could be. No idea. Chicken. Um. I mean, think of it: peas pudding hot, peas pudding cold, peas pudding in the pot, right? Nine yeah. days old. That's peas it's porridge. Hot. Oh, it's okay. Porridge. Oh, yeah. I don't peas. Know. I don't know peas. Know. peas. It, the word this spelling of this peas. the spelling of peas with the e at the end has because nothing to do. We lost it. that e at the end when p became peas, and we well, it is a spell. it is a Canadian word. Can we just assume they they added it like they add use into well, behavior? I think it worked the other way. I think it originally had the e, and because we didn't pronounce it, it got lost. <laughs> no, everything okay, started in America. <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> so, what are we going to say for that? Peas. Right? We can go with peas. I have no idea. Okay, so nine has got to be some sort of say split peas, probably. She she wants specific. She said like lobsters. And, and so it, I think it was something in the in the fishing industry. But was Whaling? it lobster or was it um, a specific, a specific kind of fish? Could it have been whaling? Were they? Was there whaling? Maybe, there was, the new, maybe there was new legislation that killed the whaling industry. That's very good. Whaling mm -hmm. sounds good. Yeah, they're still they're still I'm doing lobster fishing, but they're not doing whaling. I'm throwing that out there because I don't know. I think whaling's good. Okay. Do they do paper mills in Newfoundland. I know trees and paper line, milling. People were more um, aware of, you know, trying to save the whales. Oh, yeah. it's so funny. Did you see Adrian's note? She came in. I saw it. It was it? half a second. What it's what that? you said, Aaron. Oh, it's, it's, the, above, it's, above. it's the part you can okay. see above the water. Yeah. Okay. You saw that? Oh, awesome. Thank you, Adrian. We were wondering yeah, about so that. So I, I totally had missed that little piece of information, and that's a pretty important piece of information. So I, it, everyone saw it broadcast. I didn't know how to do the talking thing, you know, the ghostly thing. You just hold the B down. Really? Oh. Yeah. Try yeah. it. Try it while you're here. See what happens. Who speaking to you from beyond? <laughs> I don't think you can tell him here. Try it. Do I have to go out into the other? Well, you could do it here, but we won't notice the difference. Right. Okay, let's try it. So everybody knows question number five, those numbers, the less than one meter, one meter to less than five meters, five meters, and so on. That's the height above the sea surface. That's what that is measuring. So I needed to clarify. Thank you. Over and out. I forgot to do the over and out. <laughs> she said, thank you. That's so Canadian. Because you. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, that's even more Canadian. Okay. Thank you, so Adrian. Canadian. 
All right, I'm going to okay. go make sure the other rooms know. Number 10. Make sure, make sure you get back here before you close out the rooms, though, because somebody got locked out of it last week. Okay. We we'll won't talk about who that was. Go to the room. Go, yeah. Go to, got to go to your room last. Okay, so 10. Well, what's I think the, it's, the current industry in Newfoundland? I think it's I think, I Well, but again, she said specific, and I think specifically it's cruise ship tourism. Mm -hmm. right. Every cruise ship on the east coast goes up to goes up the coast. That's a very good. It, it's New England and no and Newfoundland. That's and maybe that idea. was kind of related to the end of a whaling industry because yeah. they didn't have to worry about. I, I think it's, I think it's cruise ship tourism. Okay. I think you're right. So, so one, one, and, one, one. one and seven, we have no idea, right? Because we just, yeah. I don't know that that's something we can figure out. I mean, is seven related to the city of uh, Hope? This is terrible. Never mind. I was going to say there, Skippy Hope a lot. I don't is know. there a cancer <laughs> cancer treatment hospital called the City of Hope? But that, I think that'd be. Kind I don't of know. Hard. Maybe you think, but it's Hope. Because no, maybe this is no City of Hope, it, Marathon of Hope, Cancer, it seems Cancer. Like we should know it. It shouldn't be so obscure that we would know some guy's name. I think it must be somebody that amputated in 1980. Would be something that we could possibly know. It just seems dildo hope. I, I think um, you're right, though, Susan, that it, it's going to probably be a name that will say, oh, yeah, he's pretty famous. But or, not oh, famous. is that what that's named for? Or is that who it's named yeah. for? He named, they named a set of prosthetics about against him or... Do we have a guess guess on the name of the airport? Could it be, would she like, be as simple as Newfoundland International Airport? Halifax? I suspect yeah. Newfoundland it, International Airport is better than nothing. Is Halifax? But, ha like? but, but Halifax yeah. might be a good one. Halifax is in Newfoundland. Yeah. Or, or is it no no? Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. You're yep. right. Dan? Whenever I don't know something about Canada, I know Alex Trebek it, would be really disappointed in me. Oh. Is that your guilt? Yeah. Whenever the contestants get Canada questions wrong, he like shames them or shamed them. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I guess, I guess we could go with yeah, NIA, Nova Scotia International Airport. I, I have no idea. But I, I wasn't like named an international airport. I like the idea of calling it Newfoundland no, National Airport better because remember, one of the things we had to figure out was the Newfoundland. So you, it wouldn't be obvious if you hadn't figured it out. We, well, well, we, we, we don't have to, we, we didn't have to figure out what the category was. It was just once you, if we do figure it out, it could make some of these questions easier to answer. But the point is, we immediately figured it out. So question mm -hmm. one could very well be Newfoundland International Airport. Because yeah. if yeah. you hadn't figured it out, it isn't obvious at all. Good point. Can't name okay. a city. Has anybody been here been mm -hmm. there? No. No. Other than Adrian's pictures, I don't know if I've ever even looked at it before. Very pretty. Oh, you know what it's I know what you know what it's industry is lighthouses. Well, it's not like lighthouses all over the place over there. <laughs> they export them. Well, they sell the little trinket lighthouse things everywhere. Was the the come for away play was happening someplace in that area in Canada? Was it in Newfoundland? The what was? Come from away. Come from away. The play, I, the, the, the nine eleven play. I have okay. trouble keeping straight whether oh. it was Newfoundland or 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 um, Nova Scotia. I can't remember which. Right. But that still doesn't Good really question. help me because even if I know it was Newfoundland, I don't know what the airport is that they landed in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's how a good thing to bring up. Seven. seven is the only That's one we ten. don't have yeah. an answer to. Mm. That has something to do with a cancer hospital, though. Yeah. Like named after famous cancer like hospital Moffitt. of some guy's name. I can't think. Can you? Think I don't know enough about cancer A new name, and they can think of it. cancer hospitals, but they've had the name since way before 1980. 
And somehow it's directly related to Newfoundland also. True. And it's a runner. Runner who had their leg amputated. In 1980. Mayo. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> Mayo Hope. Dilda Hope. You you love going back to that, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting Dildo back because it's better than no answer at it's, all. It's, it's only it's two best. minutes left. I I you guys come up with something better? The only cancer no. hospital I know is Moffitt. Moffitt? I, I don't know what Dildo Moffitt? I don't know Dildo anything. <laughs> Moffitt it is. Because I think let's, that's let's more make it Moffitt. Dildo. Moffitt. Moffitt sounds good. Is that his first name or his last name? doesn't matter you don't have to know <laughs> well his first name is dildo okay. <laughs> and i think he would appreciate that if he was here Mr. Adrian, dildo. i suspect that we are keep, keeping the, the that your own team gets the lowest score uh oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no curse of susan i should have done I should have done Winchester again. <laughs> I, I don't think we can blame Susan on this one either because we all spent a lot of time saying, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I fact, think we the only answer agree to that we eight, know for sure one answer. I yeah. think the answer yeah. to eight is going to be like codfish. Ew. I think. I know. I think we have the right answer because it seems like I've heard it somewhere. I like Zeke a lot. Am I cheating? <laughs> 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 yes. Now, now, is she hinting or is she trying to make a change to that answer? To I have her? no idea what your answer is. So, yeah. no, but you know what Zeke's, <laughs> but you know what Zeke's answer is. <laughs> it can't be cod. That's disgusting. Why can't it be cod? Cod is up it's that disgusting. way. Disgusting. Pudding is just a casserole, and they eat. Let's, fish. let's call it. Let's call it casserole. Let's call it cod. Let's go with cod and blame Adrian when it's wrong. It'll be peas. <laughs> have that. you ever heard of? Have you heard of Eskimo ice cream? Yes, it's a brand. Yeah, yeah. But real Eskimo yeah. ice cream, it's it's fish and fat, whale oh, fat. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Snow and berries. Apparently, we're back. Hey, Kevin. Sorry about that. Some of us are. Yeah. Next so, next time, I'll I'll go quickly. I didn't see the clock. Yeah, I just noticed just as you started talking. Sorry. Yeah. What was so. going on? <laughs> was Kevin singing the song? No, no, we were just talking about you, Susan. Nothing important. <laughs> yeah. All right. Boy, Ron, everyone's back. He's 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 yeah, back we're all back. tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Check on you. Copy and paste. I think everyone got the first one. Some people had it wrong at the first, but once they figured out what the category was, it yeah. is the Gander International Airport. And I heard some hey, Jim some people about. got that. Hey, it's, yes. it's from the play come from away and we, couldn't, away, think, we couldn't think of it oh well, thanks aaron for yeah. coming up with that now no 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 wait a minute wait a minute don't blame me we all said it was come from away and we all said but i don't know what the airport's called yeah okay that's right and, and before yeah. before yeah. before the uh uh the advent of these intercontinental jets and stuff like that um everybody all all the planes would fly if they're flying to europe they had to. They would stop in Gander to fuel up, uh, yeah. fuel, and then they would do a short hop from Gander to Europe. So, yeah. Yeah. Alan, that, Alan, that yeah. stop was just to take a look around. Just to take a Gander, yeah. yeah. Take a Gander. Yes. <laughs> take a gander. yes. <laughs> well, it, it's because all the, the planes were. The night has been already because said. the planes were geese, and they I'll were take looking the for the Gander. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Number so, two, sorry, is puffins. Okay. Yes. All right. Hey. Yeah. We got one, boy. We got one. And I love this next one. There were so many fun comments, and there was a little bit of an advantage to Canadians who might know about Dead Man's Flats. And uh, th mm -hmm. that is the one that is in Alberta. It is not in Newfoundland. Yay. All right. Yay. So, yep. Bill so Dillon, and C. come by chance, yes, they are in the same province. And the answer is C. <laughs> You've got B on there. Yeah. Do and I have course, B? That, oh, it's C. I just don't know. It's you know, C. Yeah. Letters. It is Dead C. Man's Flats. It is not B, but it is Dead Man's Flats. C. Adrian's migraine is affecting her vision. She did her best. 
Yeah, she did wonderful. We got the right answer for the wrong reason. <laughs> no, we had the right reason. We thought it was like Texas or something. Oh well, Alberta. Yeah, it, okay. Plus, it sounded it sounded yeah. like some place. That's, that's almost where the it's same flat, thing. Like Alberta. Yeah, Alberta. There's a dildo. Texas, same thing. There is a dildo. We've been to dildo, and they have a there's also nothing flat in dildo. There's, there's nothing flat in Newfoundland. I think. <laughs> I've been to dildo. Yeah. Now, uh, now of course, the mystery place has the biggest ponds in the world. Yeah. And also, the Yay. last one is Rocky Mountain Oysters. I think that one was quite uh, quite straightforward because Rocky Mountain. But they're also called prairie oysters. And they're deep fried bull testicles. What are to Toutons? Toutons is leftover bread dough that they hasn't been made into buns, etc. And they fry it. And they fry it. And it's so mm. good. And scrunchions are bits of pork fat and it's rendered until it's crisp and they put it on mm. almost everything in Newfoundland. It was on their fish. It was on their meat. It was just served with everything except for dessert. Mm. And the last thing is the dessert, which was bake apple pie, which was everywhere we went. And they're a cloud berry or a bake apple berry. Some people call them and they're used to make pie and other desserts. Mm. There you go. When it, comes to, when it comes to fried dough, we call it fried dough. Donuts or mal or malasadish. Yeah, Wait. they're nothing like a donut though. They're very different. Wait, it, I, it, I, I missed the answer. The answer yeah. was a the Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh, okay. And this know. next one, I yeah. included a link to the Environment Canada site that actually has these, and the name is quite funny. I can hear you, Rob. And it's uh, so the. It is B, one meter to less than five meters. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. and so oh, the well. Bergy bit, a lot of people knew that it was going to be small because it was a bit, mm. but there is one, and I've forgotten what the name of it is. You'll have to check. Oh, I can probably a nibble. The website. So the smallest <laughs> one is called the smallest one is called a growler. Ah. Uh, so okay. that's the one that's less than a meter. I thought it was an ice cube. Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Growlers. And I have no idea if everyone got this next one because some I thought might do Labrador, which is wrong. It is the Newfoundland Vincent. dog. I said St. Bernard. Ah. Yeah, sure. but I was wrong. But Actually, no, we, we, did get we did get the right answer. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No, it isn't. And team. We saw a couple of these when we were in Newfoundland and they're beautiful. They're huge. Ma like a St. Bernard. Is it like a Mastiff? Small? No, no, no. Yeah. They're huge and they're furry. They've got lots of fur. So the one for number seven, the, the sad story, that's Terry Fox. And Terry Fox, we have a Terry Fox run here in Canada. He's kind of a national hero. There's a statue in St. John's with him dipping his leg in the water. And uh, he yeah, he's raised millions, probably billions of dollars for cancer research. And there is a movie, The Terry Fox Story, if you want to watch right. it. I'm not sure who's yeah. got it, but it's... And it's there's okay. another... And there's and Ron, another if you'll notice in that movie that they filmed part of it at the Y in Toronto. Yeah. Um, oh, may okay. I ask, what, why did he dip his leg into the water? That was just sort of a ceremonial yeah. thing where yeah. he's starting he, and his plan was to run across Canada and then dip his leg into the Pacific it's Ocean a, at the other side, but he never but his, prost but his prosthetic rusted and he couldn't get across the whole country. Yeah. Is his middle name Michael or David? <laughs> Very Fox. Yeah. And there's a, uh, nope. and there's a memorial thing to him near Thunder Bay. Oh, as well? Uh, we, 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 yeah so uh i've stopped there a few times on my cross-country drives uh uh so so that's close to where he collapsed on his run yeah it was very sad when that happened because he was getting quite a following so for question eight i thought this was kind of weird because it's peas pudding which is boiled legumes or split yellow peas so as long as you said peas or something like that i would take oh, it told everybody bread was a stupid answer for pudding You're welcome. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a back formation that they, over time they dropped the e and that became uh, e's then they eat a singular <laughs> and they dropped the s and it's also called peas porridge you remember the old nursery peas rhyme peas yes. porridge, porridge. yeah Peas porridge, yeah. peas so, porridge gold. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't know, I've said that nursery rhyme, I don't know how many times, didn't know it was actually peas that you put in it. But that's what it is. 
And the next one, it is the cod fishery that collapsed. Oh, yeah. we they, overfished. they overfished. So now I, I need I need to ask a question here, Gail. Yeah. Did you change that before we left? No. Did you, you want to change it? You did. Well, I think it's I think it's too late. Too to late. Change the cod now, but but just before the <laughs> just before the room closed, I said we should. I, I think we need to put it as cod. But if we didn't change it, we didn't change it. What can you do? Yeah. We said whaling. I thought whaling was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so oh, and, no, and I think, it's a little I late for whaling. Erin, Erin, you're talking about um, the peas, right? Because she no, originally I'm, had peas. No, I'm talking about number nine. Number nine with the. Oh, okay. Thing. All right. Yes. And it the whole they have in the museums there they actually have pictures and the government helped them they actually helped people move into other areas because the the whole communities were devastated by the cod fisheries shutting down. And after that the one that picked up in 1997 I believe it was was the offshore oil and gas. So oh. I, no. So offshore oil is what I was looking for, and I just named the four. There's four big uh, drilling yeah. rigs, offshore yeah. rigs. They're called Hibernia, Terra Nova, yeah. White Rose, and yeah. Hebron. Yeah. So I'm so, looking for uh, offshore oil. That was the so, uh, off offshore yeah. gas. The on land gas was from the peace porridge. <laughs> right. Right. Well, the cod. Was, you gotta cook cool. that you gotta cook those suckers a long so, time. Uh, so just uh so just living in canada and following the news to some extent over the last two decades is a big help <laughs> yes yeah living in canada would help because those were pretty big news things the cod industry was was devastating but what revitalized newfoundland was the oil industry the offshore you thought oil. it was cruise ships yeah, leaving Canada in the 1970s, like I did, didn't help me at all. <laughs> I got Terry Fox because I left in 1981, so I saw that part. Nice. Yeah, I, I never heard of the eye. All right. Good job. Good job, Adrian. Yeah. That was a nice category that uh, about yeah. a part of the world I don't know anything about. And it's kind that of will show on my score. <laughs> but it was it's, a good category. I was in the... Uh, I was in West Montreal Island this the summer he was doing that. And I remember seeing a news item about about him that summer. Uh, yeah. so it was just as he was passing through Montreal that it, he's he started to get prominent. Right. Yeah. And I think that's about right. Because at first there wasn't a lot of press coverage. But I hope it, you know, some of you will be motivated to go to Newfoundland and visit because it's an amazing province. We yeah. really loved every bit of it. All the small communities are amazing. The people are amazing. And you get to meet a bunch of newfies. Yeah. And the huh? stereotype does not live up to its reputation. They're it so nice. Does. It never does. And but the food names, I think, do. <laughs> work for my dad. Yes. And the place names <laughs> kind of do too. Yeah. Well, I just looked up the Wikipedia page for the dog. I didn't know what that was before. Yeah. Heard of it before. They're beautiful dogs. They're it lovely. Is, that is a nice yeah. dog. We right, had one that was half Newfoundland. He was the best dog. Oh. <laughs> okay. And he, was he disappointed he wasn't living in Newfoundland anymore, Deborah? Jamie, no, I, he was born in Big Sur. I mean, how could he ask for yeah. more than that? Tell him about and, the Newfoundland in the car. And Susan, I hope that there's nobody going to come to your thing on, on, on Sunday from Newfoundland because they're a half an hour off and that's going to screw everything up. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> we better alert them now. Okay, so scores. I'm going to start from the bottom up. We didn't even mention Pele and look what happened. Nine. Ooh, nine? nine? Despite we having missed the Bergy bins. Oh, because you got a Canadian the on there. Okay. Okay. Um, Southwest, where's my luggage? It's the one with the gold bar in it. Who kept track? Uh, seven. Oh, seven. seven. Wow. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I don't usually seven. report. Seven. Yeah, seven. That's right. Wow. Okay, Santa took Southwest, which is why you didn't get any presents this year. I have eight for us. That's eight. Yeah. Eight. Yes. Wow. Susan we had Canadians. Amazed. Susan is amazed. You don't well, know how amazed I am. That's because Susan is on our team, and wait till we give our score. <laughs> Shameless. 
Shameless, suspiciously wealthy Jewish employees of Goldman Sachs with master's degrees. We got seven. <laughs> well, it, okay. So you sound so enthusiastic. Last <laughs> but not least is Adrian's oh, wow. team. We and really I, needed Adrian many, for this. How <laughs> many? How many did we get? We got five, unless we can count Aaron's last minute change of that answer. No, nope. five. I I thought we had one. So no, we, we, had, we had five. We had five. We had five. Even without Aaron's answer. <laughs> even with <laughs> Susan. <laughs> even with Susan. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The problem is we needed Adrian. Uh, Rob, can you come in and fix my score thing? Because that's. It's eight and nine are both. Oh, let us see. Let us see. Screen share. Okay. Oh, you guys are so. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what he does. Somebody show me what it is he's doing. George and no, Mark. Go, go on. I'll Mark. fix it in the background. The first year, we would spend like half an hour with Susan doing the formulas on the Excel sheet because <laughs> everybody had a different way of doing it. it was all go up, go down, go left, go right. Call me crazy. No, up again. <laughs> no, the other box. No, the box on the rack. No, you drag. No, no, box. not that thing. You gotta look for the little <laughs> and then okay, you drag. Drove me to drink, and I don't drink. So, <laughs> jeez, me Christmas. Thank you, Adrian. That was a good category. Um, like I said, it was a category <laughs> about something I didn't know anything about, and it's always nice. Thank Take you. away your permissions. Nothing personal. <laughs> okay, so Jamie. You be next. We're going from one warm kind of part of the world to the cold part of the world and back, or the cold part to the warm. Yeah. To another time zone too, tomorrow. A lot of icebergs okay. around where you are, Jamie? Yeah. Uh, not too many. <laughs> um, Gold, so my there's, category, Goldbergs, there's Goldbergs in there. There's uh, <laughs> Skybergs, yeah, Goldbergs, icebergs. and Icebergs. And ice cubes so, and um, drinks. <laughs> so a few months ago, I did a, a category of soup. So I thought it would be appropriate to do sandwiches this time. Ah, great. Okay. Right, should I mutate again? Yes. Yes. All right. Here we go. Unmute, Jamie. Okay. Having been open for over 79 years, this world-famous New York City delicatessen, known for their huge pastrami and corned beef sandwiches, they shut their doors in 2016 after the elderly owner was caught by his wife having an affair with one of his young, pretty Vietnamese waitresses. Name this landmark delicatessen. Some cheese man in this one. That's horrible. Okay. Uh, okay, number two. This delicious sandwich consists of a French fresh baguette filled with liver pate, sliced meats, coriander, cucumber, pickled carrots, and chilies, and is immensely popular on the streets of Ho Chi Minh City which is now, which was Saigon. What is the name of this Vietnamese sandwich? Okay. Number three, which US city is known for its crusty toasted French bread sandwiches stuffed with fried meats, shrimp, or oysters, and then slattered with mayonnaise. Come on. Oh, come on. Hold on. Oh, my iPad just fell off. So, uh, so are you sitting in front of an image of one of these sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have an iPad, so it takes a little, little bit of time. Okay, number four. 
Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are popular in the USA. Who first patented the peanut butter making process? Was it Milton S. Hershey, John Harvey Kellogg, James L. Kraft, or George Washington Carver? <clears throat> Number five, cheesesteaks are a famous Philadelphia institution. When ordering one of these renowned sandwiches at Gino Steaks in South Philly, if you want the original authentic version with cheese, you must say these two magical words, I want a steak, blank, blank. Fill in the blanks. If you don't say those two words, they won't give you the sandwich. Okay, number six. Right now. Number six. Throughout New England, a very popular sandwich made with peanut butter and marshmallow cream on white bread is called what? Oh, wow. Not sure that sounds appetizing. It's good. Thank, Thank you Kevin. for that question. Anytime. I knew Kevin, you would know this one. Used to have it all the time. Number seven, known as the original San Francisco sourdough, this oldest continuously running business in San Francisco offers delicious sandwiches made with a crusty dense sourdough bread right on Fishman's Wharf. Name this famous company. Number eight, in Australia, what is the popular slang term used for sandwich? Okay, number nine, in May, 2011, Lebanese chefs created the world's longest continuous sandwich consisting of a single freshly baked baguette, chicken breast, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayonnaise, vinegar, and spices. How long was the sandwich? 75 feet, 163 feet, 1835 feet, 2,412 feet, or 4,371 feet? And number 10. I know one answer about a sandwich and I'm hoping it's gonna be number 10. Come on, number 10. Come on, the only thing I know about a sandwich. Okay, hold on. They make sandwiches with milk duds? <laughs> Yeah. I'm all done. I just finished a box. All of them. I finished all my milk duds today. Okay, number 10. On March 23rd, no. 1965, aboard Gemini 3, pilot John Young and his commander, Gus Grissom, they shared a smuggled, unapproved contraband sandwich while in Earth's orbit. It was much to the shock and dismay of NASA officials due to safety concerns. What kind of sandwich did John Young hide in his space suit pocket? Just before boarding the capsule. Wow. Corned beef? Was it corned beef, tuna, peanut butter and jelly, or ham and cheese? Why would that not be safe? In fact, they had that sandwich in Lucite at the Kennedy Space Center now as a memorial. Uh, crumbs floating around and getting into the into the electronics. That's, that's my, my guess. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's all, folks. Very um, good. Good job, James. So Susan, can you help? Sure. Ron, can you see the store rooms? You were hoping for a question about French dip, huh, Susan? Yes, I was hoping for a French <laughs> dip question because I actually know the answer. 1908, <laughs> <two locations. laughs> right after the Wright brothers flew in North Carolina and all that. Susan, you get one point. Coles <laughs> and uh, Philippe's. 
I know the answer. Same week. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Can I uh, share the screen? Okay. I'm going to start. Make sure you guys remind me to fling uh, Jamie around, all right? Oh, okay. I might be. Able to he can sit here and help. Can he do it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can do it. Okay. Well, bye. Okay. Bye. But I might get, not be able to go back after the time is up. I'm, I'll need some help. Okay. That's fine. I'll take care of it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Susan. Hey, what you doing? Hey, don't don't forget to uh, fling uh, uh, Jamie. Well, he says he can fling himself. Okay. All right, so just thought I'd remind you, just okay. you said to remind you. So, okay, you can continue to remind <laughs> God, I'm such, I'm such a smart ass. <laughs> we love you, Vincent. Oh, okay. sure, you do. Yeah, you're just saying we that. We missed you last week. You go watch the video. You go watch the video and you'll see. I can't watch the video. Why? Because it's on Facebook. No, the video is on, on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. So all, we have a whole playlist of videos on YouTube. So you guys actually did miss me last week. Oh, I'm so touched. Oh, thank you. So, no. so bizarrely, I was in the I was in number one about three weeks ago with Paula Serrano. So what's the answer? I believe it's the Carnegie Deli. Sounds right. We, we were uh, in uh, Times Square area and we were trying to find a place to eat and we walked in there and we could not get a reservation and walked out. So I'm hoping that was the name. That sounds right. I do not know how to spell Carnegie. Doesn't matter. Um, what are potato? But, but it said here that it was... Uh, Closed it in 2016, 2016. Yeah, Rob. I think it came Rob. back. It came back? Yeah. So I guess it would be, I, I know Schwartz's was in Delhi, but I don't know if that, that was a very, fairly famous New York Delhi, but you know. I uh, don't know that one. Hmm. Uh, oh, God. Famous Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, I have no idea. Anybody know? Um, has this come up sometime in trivia before? The dot ring could be. I mean, it feels familiar to me. So, so is it, I don't know how to spell it. Is it is it a bon me? <laughs> bon my or however you pronounce it. Mm. Bon me. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's B-A-N-H or B-A-H-N or B-A-N and then M-I. Rob, the spreadsheet still looks weird. Yeah, I actually spent about five minutes trying to fix it, and I don't know why. I, the conditional formulas in uh, Google Docs are awful compared to Excel. And uh, I have done everything I've ever done before to fix it, and it won't be fixed. I think it's so, actually uh, two words. Like I think later. it's, it's B-A-N, and I don't know what the... But I thought the hey, uh, I? we have a we have a Vietnamese sandwich shop in Corvallis that's wonderful, and they have these baguettes that they they make, and they're perfect and and stuff. But I don't recall this particular one. But they put a lot of these ingredients in them. I've been especially intrigued by the pickled carrots and also the coriander. Or so what's cilantro. The second, what's the second word? Sorry. M I. M I. Ban me or bon me? <laughs> bon bon me. Bon me is how I think it. Yeah, that's how I think of it. What I remember, but I'm not 100 percent sure. We'll go with that. Crusty toasted French bread. Isn't that um, 
with fried meats. I think this, um, is, this is uh New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? I knew how to spell New Orleans. I can't. Uh, well, is George Washington Carver uh, too uh, obvious for? I, I think I think it's Kellogg. I'm pretty sure. No. Okay. I would say Carver's <laughs> stone for. Patented. I don't think George Washington Carver had anything patented. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Kellogg. Okay. I got no clue on five. Oh, the mail just came in. I'll right back. I remember hearing about this, but it was a funny story about what happened when they didn't use the right words, and I don't remember the story. I want Somebody to must stay. know this. Carl or Rob should know this. Five? Uh, I think it's steak and maybe steak and cheese is the way you say it. Um, two words. It's two words. Hmm. Mm. Oh, how many dashes are there? Are we doing the dash game? Let's see. One, two, yeah, three. Yeah, it looks like they vary, so. Four, like the coincidence. What is it? It's three and four. Hmm. Yeah. So the oh, and could be. Well, let's take and. Oh, my and. computer's going to restart. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I've been writing stuff down. Yeah, you got backup. So you've got backup. Okay, steak and, and. is How many letters for the second word? Is it the same number of letters as cheese? Four, no. Oh, steak and. Hmm. Hmm. It's probably not right with the, <laughs> with the letters thing. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Steak and something, right? Huh. Hmm. I don't know. I've never heard of this. I should have. I mean, I work with a lot of people from Philly, and my office is close to Philly, and they had a lot of stuff that would have been considered Philly stuff, even though it's in New Jersey. But that does not ring a bell. Uh, let's go on. Anybody know about the peanut butter and marshmallow cream of white bread? I think I think that's a fluffer nutter. Oh, okay. That, that sounds, sounds right. right. Which which should also make a good name for a pet, <laughs> or, a band, or a band, or a band, or a band. If you're a six year old girl, it's a good name for a pet. Fluffer nutter, your little fluffer nutter. Oh, it's an endearing term, yeah. Okay, so now we're going back to West Coast, San Francisco sourdough. Sourdough. All right. Famous. Company well, on the wharf. Is there, Ooh, but I was on good. Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah. What? I was. On, I visited Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah, I've been on Fisherman's Wharf a bunch, but uh, name this company. Wharf, like, <clears throat> I don't think we ate there. I think it was too expensive, but I don't remember. Oh, I think. I, I think. Am I? I think I can picture the place. A few decades ago, I was there. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> mm. Oh, no. How are you doing, Jamie? Uh, another couple minutes. People are getting there. Yeah, please. We haven't, we're only on seven and we've still, we're missing some. We're seeing a oh, lot. Okay. This is going to be a disaster. Uh, <laughs> anybody know Australia sandwich? Mm. What's the term for sandwich? And can you picture Richard saying, going to run downstairs and have? This is exactly what I was thinking. How many times Sam, did you I'm going to go downstairs and have a. I was thinking he had toast or something. I think he calls them sandwiches, don't they? Yeah. At least he does. Is it a trick question? I've well. never heard him say it wrong. <laughs> he usually put like a, a IE on the end or. 
for a Y on the end or something and cut off a vowel or? Uh, <laughs> I was, I was thinking we? About, uh, Mark? Buddy, B-U-T-T-I-E would be a guesser. It's one word that you use in um, some parts of England uh, for a sandwich. Well, it's like a baked sandwich. So like okay. a roll pressed together. B-U-T-T-I-E. Just as we got nothing else. It sounds like something that would better than a blank sounds, face. Sounds reasonable. Well, this one at least we get a guess on. Oh, the next two at least we at least we've got yeah. a one in five chance, one in four chance. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So how long can you make a continuous piece of <clears throat> bread? That would be the problem. Oh. A single freshly baked baguette. I mean, how could it be thousands of feet? How would that be possible in an oven? Well, well the bread doesn't have you'd, to be continuous. Yeah, you'd, you'd build an outdoor <laughs> oven. With a very long just time. just to do this and thing. and sometimes you know they go through on a kind of a roller plate oh. through the oven have you seen those commercial oh yeah ones? you could you could have yeah. an oven that you just run it through on a conveyor belt like a yeah. pizza, uh -huh. like pizza ovens are like <clears throat> yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. that'd be a lot easier than building a two thousand foot long oven <laughs> all right well then it could be any of these I, I I have no basis to choose an answer with. Then pick the middle one. Other other than uh, I'll throw I will rule out the small number and the biggest number and it's one of the three middle numbers. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm inclined towards B as being most reasonable, but then you kind of pick the middle number. I don't know. How come there's somebody yelling behind you, Susan? You've never seen this, Vincent? It's only been there three years. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's I a whole discussion of what the appropriate description of that item is. Look at my lovely chicken. Yeah, I don't even know what it is, but it looks like a guy yelling. It's Naomi. It's a what? Oh, Behind it's Naomi. That's, that's her name. Not a gargoyle in the background. It's a, oh uh, no, I'm talking. I'm talking about the bust in the background. No, I that's know Naomi. That's you, her you name. Named your, you named your not a gargoyle name Naomi. Naomi. What did what did you name your chicken? I haven't named him yet. We're trying to pick a name for him. He's wonderful. He's so soft. Mark found him. I name. can't believe Mark is stealing chickens from. Neighbor's yard. No, well, I, it was yeah. on a table I'm, that said free, take it. And he went and got oh. it. But he was in bad shape. All right. So, <clears throat> I haven't given him the name yet. So, the, the peanut butter and sandwich jumps out at me for the Gemini thing. Um, yeah, me too. Uh, I thought Why? corned beef. I thought, it was, I thought it was ham and cheese, but then. Oh, uh, no. Out here. Ham and cheese. What did you think, Carl? I thought corned beef. See, Why? that would be my second choice. Corned beef would last. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Tuna might not last. I don't think you'd want to take anything smelly like tuna. Well, yeah, tuna wouldn't be tuna. No, I would leave it that one. And cheese. It's not an option, John. Mm. We're given. <laughs> I, I like corned beef. It's the kind of thing you think an astronaut say. I want something meaty to eat there. All know, right, let's go with that it. then. Okay. We went out of three chance there. And what what we we have a random guess for nine. <coughs> uh, I, I don't like the thousands of feet. I'm thinking the 163 is freaking long enough. All right. B. B. Yeah. And. Okay, um, so we need five, five and seven. What did, what did we get for two and three? I didn't write them down. Uh, two was Bon Bon Mai. Yep. Me, bon Me. Okay. And three was New Orleans. 
or Nolens, if you're from there. Uh, I'm not, so. Um, four was... Uh, Kellogg. 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 So five and five and seven, we don't have answers for. Uh, this is the Philadelphia thing. Oh, man. Okay, what? let me ask John, and he's right here, but he can't Stay hear me. On. So, okay. the second word could be and or on. So, if you're in Philadelphia, stick on. Uh, Let me say that. Philadelphia, she's, you ask for steak and blank, blank. You have to ask for the blank, blank, or you don't you know what it is. <sighs> Could it be I want a steak? Oh. It's a condom. Steak and cheese. It's steak and blank. <laughs> <laughs> is the is it steak and some condiment? I'm just thinking thinking that now. Wow. Uh. I don't know. One of the most popular things would be steak and onions. Onions put on a cheesesteak. There's a weird way to. Cheesesteaks. On fire. Steak, steak. on fire? <clears throat> no, because that's on is there's too many letters for on mm -hmm. but i think it's something something like that it's some kind of magic word like a magic phrase like not like with with jalapenos or something i think it's going to be something like i want to steak <laughs> upwards upwards get you know some phrase steak some sliced thing. steak sliced thin uh, no, that's 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 a description of the item. I think it's something funnier or more doesn't really mean it. It doesn't mean uh, it's not a description of the item. It's a it's a phrase that is more fun. Does it have like beans or, you know, I mean, I've heard this recently. I heard an NPR story about this and it's like. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? My my screen, I, I, my computer restarted, so. No, no, Vincent, your computer died again? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> and I yeah. got a new video card with it, too. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Wait, it, wait, so it's a, it's a little weird that the question specifically is at that one place. Yeah, that's why I think it's a fun answer. It's not, I want a steak with cheese. It's steak, not anything like that. I, I think it's like, I steak want a steak. Steak, steak, steak at Gino's, steak of Gino's. I mean, why would it be separate there? Can you just say with cheese? No, I think it's. Steak on bread. I'm thinking it's less generic than that. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's less generic. <clears throat> <coughs> hmm. I don't it's actually not just, okay. it's not just Gino's. Basically, all the um, cheesesteak places, everyone says the same. Pat steaks. Uh, all right, you shouldn't be telling us that if you're not if you're not telling everyone that. Just saying, Jamie. But, oh, okay. Because it's, it's that, very common. I just changed their, my th their thoughts on it then, or could have gone down a path. But you should probably broadcast that too. Then, just saying, not that it's going to help okay. us. I don't know. Are you, are you almost done? We, we don't have, have two. We don't have two. We've done all the we ones. Have we have any clue on. We've, yeah. we've okay, got the minute. easy ones. Okay, another minute. We'll come by. So if we don't come up with anything else, Rob, I, I, I'd go with the onions, like you said. Steak and onions. Steak and onions. The only problem is he says you have to order it that way, and I never get onions because I hate onions. So, like, I can't order a cheesesteak at 
Geno's or any place in that Philadelphia? That's that's possible, that, doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. The original authentic, authentic version. You get something different. Well, and furthermore, I think they laugh at you if you don't. So if, the, quest, the question specifically says, if you want the original authentic version with cheese, you must say these two magic words. Mm. The question implies that if you don't use these magic words, you don't get cheese. Well, that's bizarre. Hmm. That is, wait, that is weird. With cheese. Ramon. Go to the cheesesteak if there's no cheese. That is bizarre. I wonder when if. When I ever... hear this, I'm going to kick myself because I, I know. Could it be because there was a product called Cheese Whiz? Is it possible that the original version used Cheese Whiz? So you got to say steak Cheese Whiz to get the original I version? Know. I want I steak know. with whiz. I don't think so. Such. That's funny. <clears throat> so sorry, guys, about my computer crashing again. Doesn't doesn't. That's pick okay. Up? We've got backup here, so so we're fine. So do we want to say with whiz? I I hope you didn't hear me swear. I've heard swearing before. We've, we've reported you to the NSA, but since you're oh, Canadian, yeah. they don't care. And they might they might doom you from Zoom, but... Actually, yeah. the NSA should care, because NSA shouldn't be surveilling uh, American communications, but should only be surveilling international <laughs> communications. And here we're stuck with a bunch of Canadians. Shouldn't be. <laughs> I love it. In fact, they're expressly prohibited from eavesdropping on Americans without congressional mm, oversight. I never stopped them before. How steak, would you know? <laughs> steak and. Well, wasn't that the whole thing of WikiLeaks that happened in the Obama administration? Yeah. What? Yeah. What do we what do we end up saying for five? We well, know. so far we've got penciled in with whiz. Well, that's what I'm thinking. It's something like that. It's something That's what fun. I've got penciled in for lack of anything else. All right, let's leave it. We're not going to come out with any better. And I, 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 I don't think there's any way we're just going to guess number seven. Either someone knows it or someone doesn't. No. Berninos or something like that. I can picture the place. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll okay. Be right back. Okay, Susan, can you? I think everyone's finished. She just said she went oh, back. Break out right You're still there, Susan? No. Yeah, let me go over to the. I'll, I'll do it. Hold on. Okay, can send everyone back. <sighs> so should we do burn? burn the answer is not Katz's Deli. I just put that that throw everybody off. Okay. I hope people saw it and thought I knew the answer. I do know the answer, but it's not Katz's. I knew absolutely zero on this category. Katz is the one where they did the uh, the movie uh, when Harry met Sally. I didn't see that. Didn't see that, but she fakes an orgasm, and then it seems the, to be the only thing that that movie's known for. Yeah, and then she said, "Her the guy's mother says, I'll have what she's having.'" Right. Is, is there anything else important about that movie? Um, it's in New York City and it's pretty cool. Lots of scenes. But that's the famous part everybody remembers. <clears throat> yeah, wasn't there a question about who played Susan, the woman? Do you still need people for, for Sunday? Yes, please. I would be happy to do that. Okay. The woman who said that line was Rob Reiner's mother. That's who it was, right? Because that was a yeah. trivia question a few yeah. weeks back. And the, the other funny part of that movie was uh, Bruno Kirby gives his girlfriend or him and his wife are fighting over a wagon wheel table, like it's a coffee table, and he ends up having to throw it away. <laughs> it's so ugly, but he wants it, and his wife doesn't want it in the living room. They have to, he has to throw it away. Could replace it with a leg lamp. Yeah. I remember that. All right, Jamie, good job. Okay. Can you see um, my background? That's my new feed, which I had. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Nice.
He is very cute. He was, um, yeah, he was over 200 pounds. Ooh. He loved yeah, it. Our, our half Newfoundland got up to 125, yeah. which was pretty good. <laughs> okay, the answers. Um, number one, the delicatessen that's been around for 79 years, but, but recently closed because the owner had an affair. That was the Carnegie Deli. Yay. Well done, Leonard. Number two, the Vietnamese sandwich, which is my favorite of all times in Saigon, is called Ban Min. Ban Mi, Ban Min. Something like that. Yep. Yi Ban, Ban Mi. Ban <laughs> Number three, um, the sandwich, which has fried meats, shrimp, or oysters. The city is New Orleans. It's the Po Boy in New Orleans. New Orleans. Nolans. Yeah, one word, Nolans. Nola. Number four. Number four was a, a bit of a trick question because um, George Washington Carver, even though he introduced the peanuts to the world, he invented 300 different peanut items, but he had nothing to do with peanut butter. So number yeah. four, the answer is John Kellogg. Thank you. Oh, uh, Kellogg. Yay. Yay. Awesome. Well done. How did he miss that? <laughs> you missed, you missed that. Yeah. yeah. And, Number five, uh, I can't think of another item besides regular nuts. What are the other two ninety nine? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, he, I, he, he didn't there have any were a, lot, a lot of non culinary uses for peanuts. Yeah, so, um, peanut oil. glue, um, shampoo, body soap. Every crazy stuff. idea, but not the delicious one. Right. <laughs> <Peanut butter. laughs> he yeah. got Kyle. He didn't have any bread. No. That's right. And uh, uh, number five, when you go to all the steak places in South Philly, you have to say, I want a steak with whiz. Yes. With whiz. Yes. Does whiz whip work? If you're dyslexic, can you get reversed? W I T. It's a whiz whiz. Because all the cheese, the original cheese is um, cheese, cheese whiz. whiz. Oh, if you want that's not oh. cheese, it's colored uh, oil. It's I know, but that's. <laughs> that Aaron, here? tell that to the Phillies. It's a cheese-like <laughs> product. So, did we have yeah. that one right? Did we have Wit Whiz or Whiz Wit? Either uh, one is okay. Whiz Wit. Oh, either is one's okay. okay. Then never mind. We win. That's fine. But <laughs> if you want onions, if you want onions, you said you want a steak Wit. That means onions. If you want it with cheese, it's Wit Whiz. And if you want um, a cheese steak with cheese and onions, it's you want a steak Wit Whiz Wit. <laughs> wow. What, what would happen if I ordered a, a sandwich and I said, I want a steak with actual good quality cheese on it? Then, then you say, then you say you want a steak with cheese. Okay. And then you say the cheese. No, no they, they, they would say you're going to have to go somewhere else. We only <laughs> have with. <laughs> a trap door opens and they open it and you fall into the basement, they never yeah. to be seen again. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not original. Um, number six, and I'm sure that Kevin didn't get this one. Um, number six is the peanut butter and marshmallow. That's the fluff and sandwich. Yay. Which I actually had here. They had fluff in the stores here. And I had a fluff and sandwich a couple of days ago. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Um, the San Francisco sourdough company is Bodine. Uh, wait, is that what you said, Janine? Bodine. Very famous. Uh, In fact, you can go uh, to... Um, what did you say, Janine? Not quite. I got no, the Bernino. B part. No. I said Brentinos. Oh. I was very <laughs> close. Close. <laughs> oh, even, the, yeah, if you go to the airports, even at, even at LAX, um, they sell um, uncooked or partially cooked Bodine sourdough in LAX, in the kiosks. And yeah. you bring it home and you finish baking it. So we used to fly through LAX and actually pick up Bodine sourdough at the airport. <laughs> Number eight, in Australia, sandwiches are called Sangers. What is How it? would you spell S that? Sanger. S-A-N-G-E-R. How come when Richard Saunders runs downstairs after every episode, he never eats that? He never has mentioned that. Sanger. Sanger. Yeah, my, my daughter lives in gone for hey, Vegemite, wrong time that's why. a day or something. Yeah. <laughs> See, my, my, daughter, my daughter lives in Melbourne. And it, it, she, they call them Sangers. And it, uh, it couldn't nine. be a, a, a local thing? It has to be countrywide? Yeah, it's a very Australian thing. Yeah, Sanger. <laughs> number nine, uh, Lebanese chefs created a continuous single 
bread sandwich, which was 2,412 oh, Yes. Which is um, half, almost a half a mile long sandwich, continuous sandwich. Is there a plus, there a plus or minus? What sandwich? letter? <laughs> D. Uh, D. We got it. It's a D. D. 2412, D. And number 10, um, if you go to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, they actually have um, that sandwich embedded in, um, in plastic on display for people to watch. So 10, it was a corned beef sandwich, which is an A. Hey. Wait, so he brought it but didn't eat it? Well, they had a mock. They actually made another sandwich when they came uh, back and they embedded it uh, in plastic as a kind uh, of display. So, so what's on display uh, is not a flown sandwich. Good night, Mark. No, it's not the original. Good night, Mark. 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 Good night. Thanks, Thanks Mark. for all your I'm going, what? What? That seems kind of disingenuous for NASA to do. Next thing, I'm not going to believe they actually even went to the moon. What were you going to do? <laughs> what were you going to what do? do you want them to go to the toilet and put something in blast? Yeah. yeah, embed the poop in new site or something. You should eat half oh. the sandwich and save the, the other half for posterity. Did we already lose Mark because we were going to do, a, we didn't do our yes. photo. Oh, Thank damn. You. Should remind people, don't leave that. Yeah, I, have, that too. I have just said goodbye. What? <laughs> Our, our group was talking about Andrew Tate and his little mishap with Greta Thornburg earlier. Oh, that was, that and, was funny. Uh, and his, his dumb ass tweeted, or not tweeted, but showed a video of where he was and he was just arrested by Romanian police for sex trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking yeah. it would be going down. I didn't say it. Okay, was arrested? Susan, Susan, that was the thing I sent you and you said wiki vandalism. Oh, oh, I didn't know what the heck. I sent you the thing that someone edited that dude's Wikipedia page to show his uh, mm -hmm. wins and losses, and it said loss against, against uh, Greta. Against Greta. Oh, no, it makes sense. <laughs> I, didn't I wanted to use this story as our team name, but I didn't want to. I thought it, first of all, it was too new. It just happened today. And I, <laughs> I thought my name was too um, blue. I I'd never heard of him. I, I hadn't either, either till today. Right. And then I, I hadn't like, heard about well. this just now. What's yeah, the name I'm of this guy again? Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. And? He he basically tweeted Greta um, about all of his cars and said that he would send her his emissions report. And she tweeted back to him that says you can send it to smalldickenergy at getalife.com. <laughs> That would have been a perfect team name. And he tried to tweet back at her, like, how dare you mocking her for her speech. And the rest of Twitter just was just like, dude, that was weak. You got owned by Greta. And it was just, it was beautiful watching everything go back and forth. Small dick energy. Yes. Yeah, so may it find Elon, may it find George Santos, may it find Turtle Man, may it find them all. <laughs> Okay, so before we do scores, let's take a picture really quick because you're all right there and you're all quiet and everything. So, oh, all right, everybody look nice. George, get on your. You want to make? You want to be on the screen? Look at that cat. Excellent, look Karen. at that cat. Oh, oh, I don't want a cat. Excellent, Karen. Okay. 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 Oh. Ready? One, two, three. Let's see if I got it. <laughs> Was the cat looking? Was Ron's cat making eye contact with the camera? Yeah, yeah, that's. I think so. Yeah, that's the most important part. That, that yeah, that was good. that part was good. Karen looks frightening. I don't know if I want to. Giving it a time. It's <laughs> it had quite an expression as well. Max slept through it. <laughs> okay, so did, ours? did we get Carl's kitty too? <laughs> no, she wasn't in the shot. Yeah, five minutes. Uh, no, no, we haven't done scores yet. But you can go. So you no. can five minutes. Yeah, if you're the scorekeeper for your team, you can go. Yeah. Okay, so Rob was not Did you? Oh, it looks like you fixed it. Okay. No, no, you didn't. No, no, it. It, no it's not fixed. Okay. All right. So let's go. Oops. I refreshed it to see if it may be fixed, and I got to a oh, score. Um, Okay. Oops. Here we are. There you go. Okay. So <laughs> let's go with Bele. Seven. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. 
<laughs> okay. Shameless, suspiciously wealthy Jewish employees of Goldman Sachs' master's degrees. Seven. Okay. That's well, that's more cool. consistent. That's Jamie's team. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Southwest, where's my luggage? It's the one with a gold bar in it. Nine. Ooh. Wow. Okay. And <laughs> let's go. Santa took Southwest, which is why you didn't get any presents this year. We needed you on our team, Susan. We got four. <laughs> well, like, like I was going to help? No, because you needed to be on our team with that kind of score. Oh, so if I'd been on your team, you would have blamed it on me. I understand. Yes, you were with us in spirit. You're quick. I'll tell you. I'll be there shortly. All right. We didn't even mention PLA and look what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six? Okay. All right. Six. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Five minutes, y'all. Okay. Uh, bye, y'all. I guess I'll see. Yeah. You. Yeah. I have to leave too. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Thank everybody you, Vin, you the my category. Thank you, Vincent. What do we do with our Good night, Vincent. I like your night, shirt. Vincent. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And and sure it's fire. Adrian. Good night, fire. Again. Oh, yeah, fire. good to see you too, Vincent. Yeah, okay. and and um, Jim too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good night, Vincent. Yeah. yeah. Good night. Bye. Day one. Bye. Yeah, really. I'm cold already. Well, with that oh. background, wow. I mean, it My was it was a nice it was a nice shirt, but that not it was not appropriately dressed for for that background. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me. Okay, do I have any more volunteers for next week or for Sunday? I keep hearing rattling like there's a cat in the other room, but I know there's no cat in the other room. I'm going to go look it's, and see. If it's the Bob's open. chicken. I wonder if there's a window open. Hold on. Do back. you have me on there already, Susan? Yes. I like that Bob's chicken is just sitting there looking around. <laughs> so funny. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> that stopped him. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, what did you say to him? <laughs> I have no idea. I think that was just pig chicken. <laughs> At least I hope it was. He's waiting for in further instructions. <laughs> oh, so that's why the cat got up because Carl was coming back. <laughs> mm. Are you meditating, Faith? No, I'm moving. <laughs> Definitely looked like you were meditating. <laughs> but then we would have been able to see your hands like this, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The conversation over here is just so engaging. My God. Is everybody in the, uh, uh, or, you know, around Susan ready for the downpours we're supposed to get over the next couple of days? Are we really? I can look yeah, well, at least, at least up here. I'm not sure. If it's oh, make it we got that yeah. far south. Yeah, we're supposed yeah, to get yeah. some rain, but. Yeah, there's We've a. Got flood warnings. Yeah, there's a flood warning for a lot of California. Oh, gee, look at that. There's uh, lightning. No, I wonder if that's why my, my door is rattling that's closed and it shouldn't be rattling. It sounds like there's a cat stuck in there, but there's no cat stuck in there. I can't yeah, figure out why. It's a ghost. 
It's the pressure. No, it might be that, the air pressure. Pressure. That that must be the explanation. Um, Kevin, I can't think of, of anything right. else it could be. Thank you. Thank you. Now you confirmed it. it must be true, right? Yeah. So um, you should fill out a a form and send it to Jim Underwood. I, Jim Underwood. <laughs> Jim Under Down. Yeah, I know. Oh. So I have Gail, Robin, and Carl for uh, Sunday. And then the following week, which would be the next Thursday, I have Rob. On the on the on the Sunday, do you need somebody categories for that? Yes, I need a category and a bonus. I'll do a category on Sunday. Okay. Is it okay if I do one of my old ones that uh, from a long time ago? I would change it because you're gonna cycling. Have, you're gonna have at least half of the people are gonna be. They don't pregnant. remember shit. Is that legal? <laughs> No, I don't want a lot of things to repeat because what I want to avoid is I want to avoid us saying, uh, talking like. Oh yeah. You know, in in jokes. I, I better I better I better I better rescind then. I don't because I was thinking about doing one of one that I did so before. No, no, do you? No, I, no. I have the bugs. I, I don't have time to write another one. Okay. Do you want next Thursday? I, I like to like to write a good one, but I, I don't have time. I want to make sure my garage door is closed. It was closed. Mm. You know, I'm going to run out there real quick because I have a feeling that it's not closed. Uh, watch out for the ghosts. Watch out, watch for, watch out for the boogeyman. The ghost of the raccoons. So, so one thing I can tell you guys about, do you know during COVID how companies in the States and elsewhere, they downsize their products? but they charge the same, mm -hmm. uh -huh. like cereal and other things. So yesterday we're preparing for New Year's. We're holding a New Year's party tomorrow. So my wife was making ice cream sandwiches. So she baked the cookies and she bought ice cream and it was a mess. The ice cream just kept on melting way quicker than we were used to. Something was wrong with it. And we looked, it turns out that around the world, a lot of ice cream makers change from using milk products to palm oil and coconut oil to make it cheaper. And you should be able to see on the product, like in the United States, they can't call it ice cream unless there's a specific amount of butter fat in Exactly. Fat so in. There, there was a class action lawsuit. So there are, there are companies who didn't change their labeling and didn't change their packaging. And so we bought this because we bought this ice cream for years. And um, if you look at the front of the box, it just says vanilla and all this, you know, creamy. And only in small little tiny letters on the back because it say now it says frozen confection instead of ice cream. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's deceiving. So hmm. cheat. That's just cheating. Because we bought this ice cream for years and now they change all the ingredients. But they hit what it. What brand you know, was it? Walls. It's called Walls. It's very oh. common in Britain and in Australia and Asia. But you have to you have to look at the ingredients now to see if companies change their formulations to this palm oil stuff instead it's, of milk. It's almost as if they care less about their customers <laughs> than they do about their profits. Yeah. Amazing. Shocking. Shocking. Isn't that what the guy in thing? the guy Chicken in the vacation back, movies did? Back. Chevy Chase's <laughs> job. Yeah. Additives. Food additives. It's, yeah. But be careful when you buy ice cream. We bought a okay. couple of gallons of ice cream. Now they're no good. You have to throw it all away. I only buy two local kinds of brands of ice cream. Tillamook, where I'm from. Mm. And all they do is dairy. And oh, uh, Lockmead, which is between Corvallis and Eugene. The only kind I buy is what is on sale. And it's best so we're with ready. strawberries. We're back. And That's it is best, best with, with Oregon Benton strawberries. Hey, you guys ready? One day they're going to have artificial cows out there. You got to watch it. <laughs> AI cows. <laughs> All right. So we're back. So we are on our break from the last time we'll be able to do a break in this whole year of 2022. We've been through an awful lot, you guys. We've covered so many categories. You would not believe how many we've done in 2022. It's been amazing. So uh, what do we have in the news that's happening besides what's happening in the outside world? What's happening in the real world, our world? Right the world of podcasting? World well, of data. Hey, you know, I know this guy does has this podcast. Kyle, did you hey, hey. happen to know it might be happening on Data Skeptic this week? I do indeed. This week we're talking about board games. I Ooh, talked I to a, board games. Yeah, a data analyst who used the site <laughs> Board Game Geek 
and uh, data set from Kickstarter to try and see what uh, innovation and uh, board game geek uh, kickstarted projects have in common. And if that could be the true source of innovation and change in board games. So that analysis this week on Data Skeptic. Very you good. got a copy of Evan Bernstein when that comes out. I look forward right. to it. I received the new game called Calico for Christmas. And it is supposed to, they bought it because it's quilts and kittens and cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quilts and cats, and that the whole theme is about putting cats on your quilts and putting buttons. And let me tell you, it is challenging. It is a hard game. Zeke's played it. I played it. Oh, it is really good. It's it's a zool, but harder. It is for something who's supposed to be cute and cut. Oh no, it is a lot of strategy. It's very very difficult. Paula and I played a whole bunch of rounds, and Karen came over and we played, and um, Caspian was here. So, is it like tic tac toe or checkers? No, oh, it's like it's like Wordle. No, it's not. <laughs> like it wins Susan, very hard. When Susan is pecked into oblivion by the murder of crows that live in her front yard, yeah. I get the Azul and the Calico game. I'm putting in my will tonight. Okay. So she's <laughs> Azul, Azul and, um, and um, I want the chicken. Uh, Oh, he's awesome. He is so, I got to name him. Anyway, so uh, what else is going on is we have a game coming up on Sunday and I don't want you guys all freaking out. It's just a one-off. It is at 10 a.m. California time. Same link, same everything. Invite whoever you want to invite. Same game. We've got three people. So we've got to have two more people to volunteer. Plus I need my volunteers for next week. So keep that in mind or I will start assigning people. <laughs> and um don't forget, Monterey County Skeptics is doing a workshop that's coming up in the 7th, 14th, right. and 21st in Salinas. And it is, we just got to make this work. I hope I have more than two or three people show up. Oh my God. That'd be so, so interesting if I'm talking to two or three people, but I will do it. I will bring my own chicken. And then, <laughs> bring your chicken. Bring your chicken to work. We have more exciting things coming up. Uh, a lot of exciting things coming up in the CFI world of trying to get people back into the year of coming to to events. Um, Adrian's still here? Yeah, there she is. She's hanging in there. Hey, I'm Adrian, in. anything happening on the skeptic zone we should know about? Yeah, Richard told me something, and do you think I can think of it? I <laughs> I think my brain <laughs> shut down. <laughs> Richard told her something. Yeah, it told me something's going on, and I don't remember what it was. So it's that's really know. helpful. So you'll just have to listen. There you go. And I and I enjoyed the last conversation. Just get the drums, there will be a podcast. Yeah, there will be a podcast. Yeah, Faith was awesome. Thank you, Faith. Oh, yeah, that was a really that good was episode. really was really good. good. I enjoyed that. You guys yeah. did a great job. I was just talking to um, somebody today about the power of this trivia team. My God, you guys, you all know each other from all over the place, and the things and the connections you guys have made. And it's it was been so great. nice to hear Adrian talking. Well, I met. I met uh, Faith from Susan's Trivia Game, and then I heard somebody else mention it somewhere else. Oh, yeah, well, I know them from Susan's Trivia Game, and it's like, oh, my God, you guys. The it's a good network. It's a good it network. It is a really great network, and I think it's powerful, the, the connections we have. I wanted to share this with you all. This I, I saw it today in a uh, Washington Post article that came out on uh, 2022, they were asking people, what's the best advice they gave or received during 2022? And there was a lot of really good advice, but what they did say is that um, they're coming out with a study on the, the world's longest scientific study of happiness. Hmm. And they say, cultivating meaningful relationships of all kinds is the single most important thing you can do to ensure your own health and happiness. And I think that's pretty appropriate. And I want to thank you all for making the last three years very, very tolerable going through the pandemic and all your friendship. Even though I may have never met some of you in person, I think it's 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 a wonderful. Um, this has been a wonderful game, and we've been a it's been a wonderful way of trying to meet meet and getting to know a lot of you people um, in a way we wouldn't have been able to do before. The um, only other thing I think I was going to mention is I have two articles coming out on Skeptical Inquirer, both on the GSOW project. One is on the drama that we went through at the beginning of the year last year, 
uh, that sh and it's in my opinion, so this should be very interesting and very very weighted. And the second thing I'm going to um, do, but it'll probably be a couple weeks before this comes out, is an article on uh, the Wikipedia pages I've written during 2022. And some of you might have seen I posted on Facebook. I was asking people if anybody ever heard of the phrase "painting the mouse" or "painting mm -hmm. the mice." And and one of the Wikipedia pages I wrote um, was for a man who uh, painted a mouse to he was trying to get away with saying he had grafted dark skin and onto a white mouse. And instead he just painted the mouse. So it's the mm -hmm. phrase painting the mice or painting the mouse has come as a, to known as scientific fraud. There must be some kind of scientific fraud in there. And I'd heard the phrase and I was really interested if other people had heard it. And it looks like two people out of like 50 people responded, had heard it. And I thought that was- Plus we're all too honest. Yeah, but so it was know, a very, well, it's cheats. just kind of a known phrase. I'd heard it. Painting the mice just means fraud in science. Never heard about it. Never heard it. It's, nope. it's nope. Yeah, I wonder if it's a generational it's a, it's thing. A this happened thing. in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the incident, but I didn't remember the phrase. <laughs> well, I might have heard the phrase, but I didn't know it meant that. So... Or I didn't know what it was from, from this guy who was, and it's just really a sad case. Anyway, so I've got an article coming out on that. Uh, so lots of stuff happening, coming up. Anyway. Well, I, I had one announcement too. Sure. So I wasn't on last week, and I think you announced it for me that I had an article published, but mm -hmm. I wasn't even promoting it myself because I wasn't happy with it. But they finally uh, fixed, fixed it, it the way I wanted it. So let me put it in the chat. Um yeah, I got to speak at the Sunday paper session, and uh, it, it's something that's it's like, that's icon, that's something kind of overlooked. They don't record them or whatever. So this year, um, I got together with the five other speakers, and I cajoled them into redoing their presentations at home on Zoom and making videos of each of them. And uh, I wrote an article that describes them all and has the links to those videos so people can watch Ooh. them even if they didn't go to PsyCon. Mm -hmm. So that's excellent. A wonderful article. I, I think you. that uh, yeah. in a lot of yeah. ways, the, the Sunday papers gets more publicity than a lot of the other papers just because the efforts of Rob Palmer and I've done a lot with it too over the years. It's just pretty funny that I think of all the talks, almost those are the ones that get the most at least in our world. We're yeah, and, and a quick description is, okay, it, it, let me explain what it is. It involves, I'm reading from my article, a multi-speaker session of short talks held on the final day of the conference. And unlike the featured well-known guests invited to speak at PsyCon, the paper session has the goal of giving relatively unknown people a chance to present a topic at the conference. So that's what it's about. It's, you know, future speakers. Yeah, it can be a future. gateway to becoming a future speaker. Yeah, those kinds of things. It's and it's it, it it's only fifteen minutes long, so it introduces you to a subject quickly, and then you move on to the next person, the next. Person. It's it's wonderful. It's like a skeptic camp or or some of the different conferences we've done. So I love Sunday. Paper. And that's what, how you first got started, right, Susan? Uh yeah, that's yeah, sort right. of. Yeah, it was the first big speech I did was Town Nine from Outer Space, way back in the days. And I look back on the video I have of it, and I think, oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> It was all, but it, it seemed to go over well and it, I took off after that. So, okay, so here we go back to our game. Um, don't forget, we're going to keep doing these on Thursdays just like we have in the past, but I've added just this one time, January 1st. I hope you guys will all be able to make it and bring your friends and family in and um, so on because it should be a big, big game of us. All right, so our third person up tonight. Uh, let me get to the right place. Is Bob? Okay, so Bob is on the screen. There he is, right in the middle. You're in the middle. I was looking all the way around. What you got for us tonight, Bob? Okay, my category is titled "The Same Letters in the Same Order." Okay, I have a, a oh, little introductory. Oh. Okay, it's not wordle um, related, right? Because you know I have to ban you if you if you you do. No, it's no, okay. it's not that. All right, we're set then. Oh. Um, okay, I have a little preamble that 
that you I'm going to put in the chat. So if you need to, if you get confused, you need to refer to it, it might help. Okay, so Ron, you're <clears> going to mute us? Yeah, I'm going to mute. Bye. <laughs> I will unmute. Okay. Unmute. Each question, <clears throat> froggy throat. Each question will have two answers, but both will consist of the same letters in the same order. The meanings of the two answers will differ due to spacing, capitalization, punctuation, or a combination of these. Each answer will consist of one or two terms. Because figuring out one answer will automatically reveal the other, I've taken a somewhat tricky approach in constructing my clues. Here's an example. A definite article, a sexual assaulter. The two vertical lines goes to the next, the next part of the question. So a healthcare professional who could treat physical or emotional problems. The answer is the rapist and therapist. Uh, Leonard told that joke a couple of weeks ago. Wasn't funny so that did, either. All right, did I, did I send that? Wait. Oh, there. I hadn't sent it. So that there's that. Okay. Um, I'm going to do my questions aren't too long. So I'm going to do three at a time. Let's see. What I can... Okay, so number one is a shade of orange with medium to low lightness and moderate to low saturation. Saturation. One of those Latin abbreviations that appear in scholarly papers. A helpful household spirit from Scottish folklore. Clothes, but not everyday clothes. The only people who don't do this are dead. A synonym for a word spelled R-E-F-U-S-E. -E. A word often overused by young writers in autobiographical accounts. Auction action. One of those Latin abbreviations that appears in scholarly papers, not the one in question one. Okay, I'll pick up the next three questions. I didn't, I keep forgetting to send it. Okay. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Would it, would it be okay if you put the next three in the chat so we could read along with you? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't following along. I thought that was all yeah. one thing that you were reading. Yeah, well, I didn't send it. He thought he hit it. You want me to read it again? Oh, okay. You want me to read it again? No, or you just want me to pick it up from the next one. No, but okay. for the next one, yeah, put them in first. Yeah, yeah, I got it's it. Really yeah. See, I get it. I get it copied into the chat, and then I don't, and I don't realize I haven't sent it. Okay, so okay, now it is sent. Now I got to get my document back. Number four. Figure it out. Denied. The unfunny part of the comedy of thirteen twenty one. Elizabethan English for your attention, please. How you would spell the start of the first answer to question six? A type of soil that isn't pronounced the way you might think. A hardware fastener, here's number six. A hardware fastener named for its shape, agitator. Okay, let me get the next. I'll get, I'll just get the rest of them. Okay, there's the last four. Number seven, a televised event occur, occurring in 45 days from today. A word you say when something is so good you kiss your fingertips when you say it. A member of Taito or Bubo, for example. 
eight. The first words sung by Curley on March 31st, 1943, and many times thereafter, she's a saint. Nine, it takes a skilled vocalist to master this musical technique. This television network formerly called PAX TV shows a lot of programs from recent decades. A large integer. Number 10, here's a crazy idea. According to, a soft cry of despair. Well, this is, questions? This is, this looks good. Yeah, it's, some of them are more like riddles rather than trivia, but you work back and forth, you know, try and answer and then see if it checks with the first one, makes sense with the first one, so. Okay, very good. Who's in these two rooms? I think that would be me. Give me a moment here. Oh, helps to hit the right button here. Hang on. Where are breakout rooms? I lost breakout rooms. Did you lose your powers? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hello, team. Hello. Okay, my brain, my brain has shut off. Have we lost Mano? I think so. I think you have. Okay, my brain is way shut off. That's all right, Jane. You got it. All right. It's with Southwest. <laughs> yeah. a mess. The letter that Karen, that Karen shared today, I don't know if you guys saw it, but boy, that was powerful. What It was written by a person who's a pilot and worked for Southwest for years. And they're like, here's what happened. <laughs> and I'm going, ah, what? For profits, people do the things they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just run the place to the ground. Okay, so what do we got? I don't get any of these. I wasn't able to write them fast enough. Shades of shade of orange. That's uh, medium to low uh, lightness, moderate to low saturation. Okay, what's a shade of orange? What would be a shade of orange? Pumpkin? But one of those Latin abbreviations that appear, hold on. Let me see how oh, help we gave. Shade of orange. Okay, so one, so the one dash or the, that means the, the answer is three orange. words. No, the one line in the question, so a shade of orange and then one of those Latin abbreviations is one answer. That's one word. The other one is a helpful household spirit from Scottish folklore. Pixie? Pixie, so. Pix. No. Burnt orange. Okay, number two, one, it's the first one is closed, but not everyday clothes. And the only people who don't do these are dead. And another one, and the second word is a synonym for a world, word spelled like refuse. Okay, so, so it's like clothes, but everyday clothes. Okay, and then maybe like breathe. Wait, the only people who don't do this are dead. Well, sleep. Okay. Pajamas. PJ. PJ breathe, PJ sleep. What's a synonym for like refuse is trash, waste. Wait, is it or is it refuse? Wait, like refuse. Can it be refuse? Refuse. Refuse. Like I decline. I refuse. Okay, so what is what is a word that is like 
I got to jot this down. I think I'm going to have to write it. This looks harder to <laughs> think it's my brain. I'm going to have to write it out. Oh, oh man. I, 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 this is harder for my brain. What's another synonym for refuse? Refuse? The, deny? The, decline. Um, Take back. Return. And it would be a word that is, I guess they're spelled the same. Because a combination of the clothes and the thing that people do with the dead come up with the answer for A. Because the rapist, therapist, that's how I remember to spell therapist actually, is I just like the rapist. Oh, lovely. It's weird. Saturday Night Live skit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, everyday clothes. Suit. <clears throat> a suit might be clothes that are not every day. But what would be a synonym for refuse? It could be refuse or refuse. That's the thing. Well, I'm is, is, that, is that how you spell refuse? Is that how I you spell it? I think so. Refuse? I think it can be pronounced refuse or refuse. That's stupid language. I know. Oh. English language is very. Number three is a word often unused, overused by young writers in autographable accounts and auction action. And the other word is one of those Latin abbreviations that appear in scholarly papers. Not the same as question one. Oh man. So bid. Action, okay. Action auction. Action auction. So it would be. But you bid in an auction. Okay. So bid. What else? What I else bid. Is I bid a thing? I bid. You bid. I bid. Oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. bid. I bid. That Is that a be, abbreviation? A word often overused by young authors. Like I. Uh huh. And those Latin abbreviations that appear in scholarly papers as I bid, I B I D. Okay. Also known as uh, I bid means also by the, also by the same author or something. You put it in your. Okay. I can't there believe I know that. Oh my god, I knew that. All right. So figure it out. That's three. That's three. Is I bid. So I slash bid. You type in I bid. Okay, and then slash. Okay. Got it. Okay. Or if figure it out, denied. That's one. Denied, word. but with an exclamation point. Yeah. Um comedy of 1321. The unfunny part of a comedy of 13 comedy of errors, maybe. I don't know the I don't know the but that's the, not one. I don't know that. Close but not even. Okay, the next one is Elizabethan English for your attention, please. How would you spell the start of the first answer to question six? A type of soil that isn't pronounced the way you might think. The type of soil. Okay. Well, there's clay soil. Lois? Huh? Dirt? Lois? Lois? Oh. How do you say that? It's spelled L O E S S, Lois. What is that? Like low oh. and behold. The sandy soil. Okay, it's, could um, that be low? Your attention, please. Yeah. So low, and then it would be E S S, would be the start of the second. Of the yeah, second. hardware fastener named for its shape. Okay, so L O E S F. Yeah, E S. I believe. Yeah. So a hardware fastener name for its shape is an S bin. No. Zipper. <laughs> well, it should start with okay. It should start with the. How would you spell the start of the first? It would answer? be SF, right? Because low is low, L O E or L O. Ah, that makes sense. L O E. And then the other one would be 
So the beginning so is, of, is the soil L O E S or two S's? I think it's two S's. A hardware fastener name for its shape would be what about S N. I just know we pronounced it Lois, but I don't think it's that's the correct pronunciation. Name for its shape oh, would be. True. Could there be a hardware fastener name for its shape? Could be an S bin. A what? Yeah, S spin. Agitated. You spin something. Let's do that. S pin. Agitated. Then. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not a zipper. It's agitated. But a but a hardware fastener name for its shape. Well, it what, says. On what, what number are you guys on? Six. six. Question five says, how would you spell the start of the first answer to question six? So it's got to start with an S. Or an E. If it's an E, then it's I e. think low, it's L-O, like lo and behold. Well, then it would be L-O-W, wouldn't it? No, it's L-O. Lo and behold. Elizabeth, Elizabeth in English, we don't have lo. Oh, yes, we knew. You would know. <laughs> Yes, I would know because I was. Oh, so then it's L O. You're yeah. reincarnated. <laughs> yeah. So you said Espen. Is that a hardware fastener name for its shape? Well, it is a shape. If you put an Espen under a plumb, you know, in plumbing, you would fasten it on each side, and the S would be. Well, the, that's an S ring. No, like a. I don't know, but it, okay. Uh, Harden word fastener name for a shape. Well, that's the, but if you go with question number five, it has to be. I could just start with the letter S. Uh, S as in Sam? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. S as in Sacramento, Satan. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Shush. Shawshank Redemption. Um. Oh, shit. Okay, so mm -hmm. a hardware fastener name for a shape starts with an S. And agitated would be irritated. Snatch. This is like walking into an exam that you haven't prepared for. Yeah, yeah, I feel <laughs> like that, except I got my pants on. Um, okay. Agitated, upset, busy. Like I, 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 I honestly don't get the gist of this whole thing. So is it that are they supposed to the agitated should be what in relation to the first half? Um, they're both they're going to be the same exact word. OK, so yeah. for example, here, let me put this in the chat and I'll explain. What about a spindle? Spindle. OK, so question three, Alan, yes. the first word overused by young authors and autobiographical autobiographical accounts is i right right second word at auction action is bid and then the third part one of those latin abbreviations appear in scholarly papers is called i bid mm -hmm. so the answer to question three is i slash bid slash i bid see Roughly, yeah. Okay, yeah. so so question five, the Elizabethan English for your attention, please. We think is low, not L O, or L O, L O. Okay, then the last one, a we'll type of that. soil that isn't pronounced the way you might think. Jane says it's this, right? Right. Mm -hmm. so I that think. means question two i mean the second part of that means the answer has got to be this uh -huh. so the answer for question five is l-o slash e-s-s slash l-o-e-s-s -S. so the so six would be e-s-s e-s-s -S. E -S -S. Uh -huh. and or at least part of it or 
And then it would also like, what is something that begins with ESS that also means agitated? So E S S agitated. Esoteric. <laughs> well, it's got to be agitated. It's the same letters in the same order. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So no, if I, a hardware fastener sure. name for its shape, it can't be an <clears throat> ESS. It must be ES. I don't know. ES something. Okay, go on. Let's go on because a televised event in 45 days. What with the Super Bowl? Possibly. What's coming up 45 days, you guys? Well, I know that in 36 days, it'll be February 3rd because I was counting. That's probably, the, the pro that's probably, is that's about right for Super, Super Bowl. Probably the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say it's Bowl, B-O-W-L. It wouldn't be Super Bowl. No, it'd be Super. If something is good, it's Super. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mwah. Super. So you're right. Super. Super. Okay, the first, the answer to number seven is super. The The second word is super. Well, uh, super. What is Taito and Bubo? They're craters on the moon. Taito's a crater. Okay, or no, Taito's so crater. what's the answer? Super Bowl, super, no, superb, crater? superb, Su superb. That's what I think it is. A superb. Where is the perb from? Like super bowl. Oh, super, super, no. super, superb. Oh, superb. A member. Okay, so the first one. So the first one before the slash would be super. B o. A word you will say when something is so good you kiss your fingertips when you say it. Super. 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 Yeah. Super. And a member of type type so or bubo super is not a kiss. is it an owl? Well, bubo is an owl from class of the Titans. Well, there you go. That's what it is. Super Bowl. Yes, yeah, Super Bowl. There we go. Super Bowl. Owl. Uh-huh. Super. Super. Owl. There we go. We're so smart. E E R. <laughs> Oh my God, he used my favorite owl from Clash of the Titans, Bubo, that I really Okay, and last, okay, owl. It's not a crater, it's an owl. Okay. The first word sung by Curly on March 31st, 1943, many times afterwards. What did Curly used to sing? Um, by the way, with that, is that Oklahoma? Oh, yeah, what a beautiful morning. Oh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. And she's a saint. Who's a saint? Oklahoma. I keep thinking of I keep thinking of Mary and the Librarian, but it's the wrong the wrong uh, wrong show. Music Wait, man. So Curly sings what? What does Sir Curly sing? Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, yes. what a beautiful Oklahoma! Morning. Oh, I didn't Oklahoma. know that. And she's a saint. Could it be a ma? Uh, oh wait, uh, hold on. The first oh. word sung by Curly is uh, "There's a bright golden haze on the meadow." So those are the first words. In Oklahoma, mom, there's a. So how does this go? How would you do this? Did Curly sing that on March 31st, 1943? Well, I'm thinking that that uh, the only other Curly I could think of was the Three Stooges. And I don't think so. So, no. so oh, wait, uh, I'm but, thinking but it's the Three Stooges. That's, it's not about the three right, Stooges? that's about the right time for the uh, uh, for the opening of um, of uh, Oklahoma. I think it was from around there. Wait, I, you're not talking about the Three Could Stooges? it be Mom? Could it be Oklahoma? And then Ma, Oklahoma, Ma, Mom's a saint. Yeah, I, 
yes ma. ma but what what other curly are you talking about well the only two curlies i can think of are a curly from the three stooges and, oh, and curly, curly from oklahoma uh, but oh curly i never from, heard of curly from oklahoma oh yeah he's the that's the uh, the he's the uh the, he's the star he's joel mccray oh i didn't know that okay well that, i was just thinking of curly from the, from the three stooges so the answer is ma she's a saint yeah ma, ma's a saint yeah okay so nine we're getting through this it's tough but we're oma 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 is a one yeah oma is like mom and um russian maybe or your opa or oh, vocalist to master okay so, come on all right so, hang on. so, what, okay, to master. so what is the fine so how do you formulate the final answer i i still don't get that i'm just writing oklahoma, oklahoma. <laughs> oh so it's just oklahoma yeah yeah okay okay that's what we're, skilled we're gonna... vocalist to master this m musical technique scales and the well what is the what was pax used to be called oh, what's it called now okay what could it that? be the uh the channel that shows all the old movies what is it called the pcm turner yeah. classic these yeah that may have changed since i have you know okay so what is it tnc tcm yeah okay so scales tcm a large integer <laughs> like a number one or like yeah. 150 could it be google I don't think Senor, like, cinnamon CM or synonym synonym. No, I'm thinking CM for us uh, uh, cinnamon. The abbreviation for cin, but that's too small. No, Large like but, but our scales a something a skilled vocalist needs to master. Yes. Like, so. You have to because can do you have to be a skilled vocalist to master scales? Not necessarily. Jane would know. Come on, Jane. What's the answer to that? It takes a skilled vocalist to master this musical technique. That's what I'm saying. La, 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 la. Oh, hey, I've been needing to ask anyway about this. Jane, what kind of singing are you doing? Um, I sing with uh, several groups, uh, classical and um, a vocal ensemble, and oh. on and off with the uh, uh, what do I say? <laughs> I can't think of it. Barbershop. Barbershop. Yeah. Oh, do you yeah. really? Cool. So it says PAX is this television network formerly called PAX it TV. A to, lot of programs from recent decades. You don't have to master the scales. But what is a technique that a, only a skilled vocalist would really be able to have mastered? Like, what's where they jump from? Octaves? Like, one octave to another yeah. octaves yeah being able to do more than um but there's a technique where they're able yes, to you have to be really good to be able to sing in octaves as a one singer but uh, what what i'm talking about is like where they can actually like skip without having to move through them vocally you know what i'm talking about how about the tarzaniel a trill <laughs> a, a tr uh, well Carol Burnett can trill. do it or they can or they, uh, a trill. A, oh, yodel. A skilled vocalist can master the musical technique of a yodel. Yodel. Think Vib about that. A vibrato. Vibrato. Uh, Bravo. Bravo. Vibrato. Let's go with that. Vibrato. Bravo. That? Bravo. B R. Bravo. A a Bravo is a, is a. Oh, is Bravo a TV channel too? The network. Yes. It's a movie network. And a large integer, Vibrava, integer Vibrava, would be a, and a large integer. What is a is a vibrato a large integer? A vibrato. I'll, I'll have to call Avi. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so a skull. A, a, okay, a, a bravo. 
Bravo Network makes sense. A large integer. Well, the thing is, is that a skilled vocalist thing and the network are the same, are supposed to be combined to make the word. Okay. So, and a it, large it, integer is a Bravo? Oh, it's sinking. I'm raising my hand. It's so cute. Um, but isn't Google a large integer? A Googleplex? Plex. 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 Yeah, could it be Googleplex? Do you do a singing thing called Google? A goo? Googleplex, go with Googleplex because Plex is a network that I have where you can watch. Hold it. Well, then where does the singing come into this? A goog. A goog is a technique. Is it? it is. I don't it's know. Very... We're gonna we're we're going with it. So we're not we going with Bravo. No, we're going with Googleplex because of Google. I, I, I like the, I like the Bravo better. I like uh, well, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure because we have Plex downstairs. A Goog. <laughs> Jane is like I don't know what a Goog is. I've never oh, heard right. of it. Okay. Never ten. Have you ever heard of a Google? Yes. Like in terms of singing. Like, no. No, I've heard of a Google in terms of, of a very large long number. Long face. You're taking the credit for it. Well, okay, I will. I and if I, am right, if I am right, you will bow down to me and yes, give me will. Be, I'll be retirement on the account. Team. I'll be you on will team give board. me some of your retirement money for my future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. all, 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 I know, all I know Here's is a I have crazy a idea. That my, I and I expect my you before the 31st so I can make max contributions. And my Here's a my, crazy my, idea. Go to number 10. Here's a my crazy idea. My track record is continuing here, I have a feeling. So here's a crazy idea. Nuts. Nuts. According to according to a whimper. And a soft <laughs> cry of despair. Whimper. whimper. Purr. According to is purr. Here's Whimper. a crazy idea. Wimp. 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 -er. Wimp. Wimp. Here's a crazy idea. You do something on a whim according to her. So whimper. Wimp. Look, and isn't that happen. isn't that baby cute? <laughs> yeah. So like wait. Uh, you're so like, here's a crazy idea. Let's go do XYZ. You're doing something on a whim. According to Susan or her Susan. And so cry of despair is a whimper. Wimp and purr make whimper. Okay. Oh, okay. W H I M. Whim. Whim. Purr. Yes. W whimper. H I M P E R. Okay, got it. Yes. Let's like go back to the other owl. A shade of orange with medium to low lightness. Okay, go to number one. A helpful, a helpful is spirit. An... Is rust is rust an orange? Yeah, I guess. Rust. Ru well, how is that to deal with a spirit? I, well, I, I have no idea. I'm just trying to think of a, a helpful of an... household spirit from Scottish folklore. Household burnt orange. <laughs> burnt. Okay, do you does anybody know of a helpful any kind of spirit in Scottish folklore? Well, yeah. leprechauns aren't aren't household <laughs> helpers, they're are Irish. they? And they're not Scottish, they're Irish. So mm. can we name leprechauns? any Scottish? Hmm? Oh leprechauns are Irish, they're not Scottish. Oh, okay. Can we name any Scottish folklore? Besides the Loch Ness monster. Nessie. Nessie helps you not stay messy. <laughs> well, what's in a Latin abbreviation in scholarly papers? Is sick, S-I-C. Oh, what that is, is that? something, yes, yes. 
isn't that I've like seen sick. something might be misspelled yeah but i'm writing it yeah sick is something you use if you if the word is misspelled and, and you're trying to quote it and you don't want people to think i intentionally misspelled okay it. a shade of orange aspic maybe right no, that's red that's well that can uh, well aspects is are it rustic also rustic Rustic. R U S T S I C. Rustic. That would be rust and sick. But what does that have to do with there's Scottish a folklore? Yeah, and the problem is there's a T between the S and the I. Mystic. Susan. Yeah. I wondered how long, how long people are having fun with it, but. How long should we go? Well, you would just go from room to room and, to, and when you feel like people are really winding it up, yeah. then you have a two minute. We've got like three, so. Yeah. We got more than three, but. We got one, two, and six or four. Yeah, I don't want to cut it off, but I don't want to, you well, know, you but, should, but. Where do you think people are? How many do you think most people have gotten? Um, there, there are rooms that have more than three. <laughs> this, oh. is, this is um, really. But, but there, but yeah, but there's everybody's stuck on one or another so so i would well okay remember when you close the room people got two minutes and yeah. also we're not we're all on the same footing so if if everybody's had a chance to go through them yeah it's not that we started a, it's been about a half an hour now oh well then i would i would close rooms yeah Okay, yeah. yeah, we started at 10. I, I noticed the time when we started. God, it's been 30 minutes. It's okay. Yeah. Bob, this is a lot of fun. It's hard, but it is a lot of fun. And I'm glad. Yeah, you given enough it. time, I think you would, given enough time, I think you would, you would get them all. Yeah. Because and people the goal are coming to so get them all. Close. So they say, they say a word, somebody says a word, and I go, it's the past tense of that. You know? <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, I'll go. I don't know. Um, oh, wait. Oh, I you want to close it from here? Mind is my no you don't want to close no because it won't give me can yeah. i does my computer have um um privileges yeah you're able to go from room to room you, but for both so, of me oh you, yeah if you didn't give my computer privileges because i can do it from there because it's in the room can we get like five minutes no <laughs> we've been here 30 minutes we, we gotta come minutes. up with four answers okay hold on Okay. I don't know Bob, how to you should be able to move now. Can you do it now? What is what is a synonym because it refuse or refuse? Deny. But refuse. you know, it's the way it's the way he's marked it though. The way in capitals and, and it's gotta have that right. has to be some some kind of clue. So what's a synonym for the word refuse or refuse? That Marvin. would garbage garb garbs like your clothes ah, and clothes, age garb. age it's garb it's garbage because garb and age dead people don't age oh my oh, god, god. Is your you got it fantastic so oh, yeah. four, figure it out denied and what then number where are you number four figure it figure it out is the first part and then denied is the second and then together they make the unfunny part of the comedy of 1321 okay figure it out Got it. <laughs> Solution. Denied. And it's a lot denied. Guess no. Solve no. How about bravissimo? For bravissimo. Nine? Bravissimo for nine. Nine? Bravissimo. Mm -hmm. Let's go with that then. Wait, wait. Number nine? Yeah. Bravissimo? Bravi. Bra uh, yeah. Oh, you guys change your mind. We're going to, and if it's Googleplex, I'm expecting money in my account on the photo first. <laughs> <laughs> Hardware fastener name for its shape, agitated. Can we go with aglet? Which one? Aglet. 
that's it's the fine. thing the plastic thing at the end of your shoelace but it's not a hardware fastener. oh island gromlet what you? about a gromlet where gromlet. are you on number six well, which one do you want which gromit? one do you want gromit gromit maybe oh, we got that does it make any sense i'm i'm Doesn't like make any sense at all Does we'll it come make... up with something else we got 26 seconds <laughs> for something for four Okay, so what are what are the answers we have so far? One is rustic, two is garbage. Oh, I'm gonna put grommet. Denied, Lois, Gromit, Super Bowl, uh -huh. Oklahoma, Bravissimo, and Whimper. Number three is Ibid. You got that? Yeah, number four. Yeah, we just need number four. And then that was fun but hard that was yes. fun but difficult yeah I I yes no I think given it, enough so. given enough time you would have uh yes come up with a couple Gail. of these are very clever we got <clears throat> i think so we yeah. got number Gail. two like at the end and that was just genius it was gail um, gail gail could you put down what zeke said as we were leaving the room for for number five i already did i heard it okay just want to make sure Okay, so go ahead, Bob, what you yeah. got? Okay, let me copy the answers. I'll read them off and then I'll um, put them in the okay. chat first if you can. You want them in the chat? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think we're going to need to see it. Yeah, because okay. of the way the words go together. Yeah. I think if we have this category in the future, it'll be easier because we'll, we've already have an idea how this works. Because it took me a few minutes to go, what? <laughs> okay. So Ooh, great. brown is a, brown oh, is a shade go. of orange. Low lightness means it's darker oh. and low uh -huh. saturation means it's not a yep. pure color. Oh. So it's a brownie. People got, some people got garbage. Oh. Huh. I bid. That's auction actions. Pretty easy. Dante's Inferno is the oh. one part of the Divine Comedy. Oh. Ah, that's oh. where screwed up. Okay. Okay. No, go down to number six. This is the thing that gave me the idea for the category. What is this? S hook. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. I would have never thought of an S hook. Okay. I said it was an S bin. Wait, how did we how did we get to six already? Did we <laughs> well I jumped because you yeah. had to see okay, I did them in alphabetical five, order. Five. That's why <laughs> six comes after five. that's why that comes out of the thing. Five. Okay, so so in the Bible or it says low, there were shepherds. Pay attention. So it's low. I think you can't have long words to make to make wait, sense wait, of things. In the things. Bible, Elizabethan English. Well, Elizabethan English. That's the same period. Low. The yeah, King James just, translation of sixteen eleven. Ah, uh -uh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. The King James okay, Bible, otherwise you, known as uh, the Bible. Yeah. S is spelled E S S. Mm -hmm. Oh. So the oh. soil is pronounced less. It's a it's a windblown soil. So if you knew anything about soil, you get that. But no, uh, you have to know necessarily. A little bit more than anything. Got Jane got it. Jane got it. <laughs> okay, okay. If everybody gets Super Bowl, Super Bowl, and Superb Owl. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. That was an easy one. Stephen Colbert in in. Uh, in 2014, Stephen Colbert on the Colbert Report was avoiding the copyright issues with the uh, NFL. Didn't want anybody to use the word Super Bowl in their in their coverage or advertising, and they were being jerks about it. So he just moved the B from Super Bowl from the, the B from Bowl oh. to the end of Super and came up with Superb Owl. Oh, that's funny. And okay, what what show opened? What opened in March of 1943? What was the show? Who's Kurt? Oklahoma. 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 Oh, and what's the first song? Oklahoma. There's what's a the first song? bright golden uh, haze in the middle. There's a bright. Yes. <laughs> that one. I was reading a YouTube comment, and the person had put their name in all. Just it was just a string of letters. This this just happened while I was 
coming up. I had the idea and I had a couple, but I wanted some better ones. And I was reading a YouTube comment and I, this uh, person had written their name and I read, there's uh, something. Uh, oh, so it's Teresa. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's the first time anything useful has come from a YouTube comment. <laughs> <laughs> you better like remember this day. That's right. Yeah. And, and, and the other day, I was at, I was visiting my mom in the nursing home and her her um her uh, roommate was watching uh ion tv because because ion that. you go a charged particle you know how do you give a cryptic hint for a ion but it was a it was a, tele, a television show and people were getting whimper so I don't know I think I think if given unlimited time you would have got them all Given mm. unlimited yeah, time, really I would have not. Have, I would not have gotten five. Or we just seven. wanted to be finished before yeah. Sunday. So, given unlimited time and Google, I might have gotten them all. Well, if yeah. we had literally oh infinite God. amount of time, we would have just started randomly combining letters. Also, infinite number of monkeys really in the typewriter. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Fun. I'm agitating for us. Listening to the process was was amazing. Okay, I did actually help in this so my yeah. team between all the members of my team we did okay did not get zero we did not get zero not but get i zero. actually helped which was a okay. nice thing to be able to do Garbage. Right, so let's go to scores so i'm moving up to last place again all right so let's go with um share. don't forget to hey, share are we, we going to share susan oh i thought it was oh, i'm we not sharing the damage okay pele you guys have to share. You have to watch. You guys are creeps. We had six. Six. Ooh. Okay. Very good. And Bob's team, Santa Chick Southwest, which is why you didn't get any presents this year. We got four. Hold on. No, we got five. We got five. Right. Okay. Not, five. not bad. Uh, shameless, suspiciously wealthy. Jewish. We are consistent with seven. Seven. <laughs> wow. That's a good score. We didn't even mention Pele. Look what happened. We got seven also. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. And Southwest, where's my luggage? Eight. Eight? Whoa. You guys did really. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look mm -hmm. at that. Hey, you did fix it, Rob. No, actually, I didn't. It's a coincidence. I just did it on its own. If you I want to know which two the team with eight missed. <laughs> Five, five and six. six. Five, five and six. six. Yeah. For five, we answered hear ye screw. <laughs> <laughs> Not pronounced the way you would think. And six Karen. was screw. Mm -hmm. I was five. listening in, and you, you were coming up with, you guys are trying to come up with synonyms for agitated, and you said shake, and I go, it's the past tense of that. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's like a crossword. You got to pay attention to the. Yep. And we the, said C clam. And it's had very, J. I we didn't say S hook. Yeah. Yeah. Going yeah. from. I did say shake, hook, but not S hook. Going from okay. shake to shook uh, is, was just, it never came to mind. Yeah. yeah. Agitated. I I I, oh, I I I I agonize over the wording. I, I try to get it's like it's there. It's you just have to not, you know, pay. It, you know, it's everything counts. It was fantastic. That was Will Short's level puzzle right there. It was. It, it, it was, was good. That was, was very good. good. That was that was really good. We should try to get it was the hard, but it was no lighthouses or punch and Judith. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. try to somebody get the picture else, now that we have it figured out how it was, to do it. Was somebody really else clever. Who, there's a lot of a lot of words that yeah, that, really, uh, really, really clever. Not uh I not had, easy, but yeah. a do decent a, almost average word score. Level. Okay, we're moving yeah. on because we don't want to take this into Sunday, by the way, as I've been told. Yeah. So, Jane. I'm not going to complain about how late we're going. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Good job. Jane? Okay. All right. All right. So, I just want to say that the last time I led a category, I had trouble for some reason. I could not get um, things to copy and paste into 
the chat. So I have, uh, if I have trouble this time, Susan, I have an email set up to send to you. Okay. okay. So, um, so I'll just try it and see what happens. Um, so the category, this is going to be a lot easier than the previous categories tonight. Um, we'll make up some time, huh? Yeah. Um, okay. So this category is celebrity entrepreneurs. Um, so this is about celebrities who are making a killing owning businesses outside the entertainment industry. Um, so let me try to see if this will copy and paste. Meantime, I will mutate. That copy okay. and paste, fine. Can you type in? Slow? You're muted. Jane, Jane, you're muted. We haven't heard anything you've said. Type in type in celebrity entrepreneurs or whatever you want to tell the cop uh, the category. Okay, I will. Uh, just a second. Um, yeah, copied and pasted just fine. Actor means either male or female. Right. So go. can you hear me? Um, yeah. So yeah, I was just going to say I'm going to keep it neutral. Uh, if, if, for example, the celebrity is an actor, I might say the word actor to mean either male or female, and only the last name is required. Okay, so for number one, I am grabbing it now. Uh, give me a sec. And... Okay, um, this actor is one of two neighbors who began a tequila business in 2013 using their private recipe. Four years later, they sold the business for $1 billion. $1 billion? <laughs> According to Forbes, the sale made the actor the highest paid actor of 2018, despite not appearing in a film that year. Name the actor. My chocolate. Number two, uh, after breaking out in welts from laundry detergent, this celebrity created a company to provide products without petrochemicals and synthetic fragrances. Within two years, the company had a valuation of $1.7 billion. The company was then hit with multiple lawsuits for dishonest ingredient labeling and harmful products, and valuation fell to $550 million. The company went public in 2021. Name the celebrity. Number three, when a candy store owner suddenly died in 2014 in Rhinebeck, New York, three local residents bought the store to save it from closing. One of the co-owners was an actor on The Walking Dead for six years. One of the co-owners was People Magazine's sexiest man or woman alive in 2021. Name one of the two celebrities. Number four, this teen star of the 1980s is popularly associated with a swimming pool scene in one of the 825 films on the Library of Congress National Film Registry which is a list of films deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. In 2005, the actor owned a New York City, opened a New York City boutique and has since focused mo mostly on that business working in the store. Name the actor.
Number five, this singer has the third most number one singles in Billboard's history and the top most number one singles in the last 20 years. After launching a product line, Time Magazine named it one of the 25 best inventions of 2017. In 2021, Forbes announced the singer's worth as $1.7 billion, due primarily to business ventures. Name the singer. Number six, this celebrity has won two Academy Awards, but six Golden Raspberries. The celebrity spent $24 million developing oil separation machines. BP bought the machines for a reported $52 million at the height of the Gulf of Mexico disaster, even though the machines failed two out of three tests and the third test performed poorly. Name the celebrity. Number seven, this singer established a persona of living a laid back party lifestyle since the 1970s. In 2018, the singer capitalized on that decades long brand when opening three retirement communities, which maintain a party atmosphere. Aging fans snapped up properties when granted the chance to buy via lotteries and waiting lists. The singer's business umbrella, which also includes restaurants and hotels, has annual sales of $1 billion. Forbes estimates the singer's net worth as $950 million, primarily due to business ventures. Name the singer. Number eight, during the 1980s to 2000s, these two actors starred in multiple TV series and movies. Each of them was ranked among the wealthiest people in the entertainment industry at that time. The two shared an interest in fashion and started a fashion business together in 2006, with one as CEO and the other as creative director. Today, the company has complete menswear and women's lines and has $100 million in sales per year. Name one of the two actors. Number nine. This singer partnered with bandmates in 1990 to buy a Mexican nightclub and, res and restaurant which they named after one of the band's songs. The business was initially a failure and the singer bought out the bandmates and built the business into a popular attraction. The singer commissioned a handmade house brand tequila to sell to patrons and to also import to the US. In 2007, the singer sold an 80% interest in the tequila business for $80 million. Name the singer. And I think everybody probably will know this one, but I had to give it to you. This actor is the recipient of an Academy Award, a BAFTA Award, three Golden Globes Awards, a Screen Actors Guild Award, an Emmy Award, a Cannes Film Festival Award, and the Jean Hirschholt Humanitarian Award. This actor was placed 19th on Richard Nixon's enemies list, which the actor claimed as life's greatest accomplishment. The actor started a company and donated all profits to children's charities, including global, a global network of camps the actor started for children with serious illnesses. To date, donations have totaled over $570 million. Name the actor. This looks really good. Uh, very well done. 
great research there, Jane. Thank you. All right, let's go. James, you are in one. Yes. Oh, I'm in a good team to know all these. One, two, three, four, five. I think I know five. Great. Good. I don't think I know any of them. So I, go for I have it. a guess or two, but I'm not sure they're right. So what do you, oh, here's what, Karen. Do you know? what do you know, Karen? Well, number one is either George Clooney or uh, The Rock. Dwayne, what's his face? Mm -hmm. I have to read the question to see what it says about making films or something yeah the actor in is one of two neighbors who began a tequila business in 2013 using their private recipe four years later they sold a business for one billion dollars according to forbes the sale made the actor the highest paid actor of 2018 despite not appearing in a film that year name the actor okay. i think it's clooney i would yeah I, based on that i would guess clooney because Dwayne the rock he makes films every year right yeah i would agree unless i'm wrong entirely and number 10 oh. is paul newman paul newman yeah I was yeah wondering if that would be yeah right. newman's yeah. own i got that was the only one i would have guessed you know what though is salad dressing disappeared from safeway and there's some other brand there now i didn't i didn't know he was on nixon's list no i didn't either i didn't either anybody know about this laundry detergent person i don't know about the laundry detergent okay i have a guess for number three is okay. it P is it phoebe kate no not phoebe i'm sorry that no, was that's number one. four oh, that, that number would be four. number four that's, that's number four and that is phoebe kate okay because she came out of the pool in fast oh, times at dear Ridge lord that was like one of the sexiest I have uh, no idea who you're talking about. I don't either. <laughs> Past times at Ridgemont High. She came I out. She, saw it. she comes she out topless. It's a fantasy scene, but she Very comes sexy. out of the pool topless. Yes. Okay. I don't. What'd you get for three? Nothing. Okay. Walking Dead. Who watches Walking Dead? Here? I don't. Harry, do you know it? Is that the vampire one with that Robert Henderson person or whatever? Yeah. No, Which that's a vampire. One? Which one are you doing? Number three, Walking Dead. Are they vampires? No, they're zombies. zombies. No, they're zombies. They're oh, zombies. zombies. They eat brains. I don't brains. Know. brains. <laughs> but I thought that number four was uh, Brooke Shields. No, but who was the sexiest man alive last year? That was on Colbert. Um, I, I um, um, uh, uh, the guy, Ant Man, wasn't Ant Man? Yeah, the Ant Man guy. Yeah, what's yeah. his name? Shoot, because he was making jokes about being considered sexy. They had him on Colbert, and he was like uh, okay. auditioning to be the best, the most sexiest man. I, I, I didn't know who he was, but I know he's the Ant Man. Can't think of his name. Kind of a generic white guy. Good sense of yeah. humor. Light eyes. Dark brown or black hair. I I can picture him and I can't Ooh. pull up his name. Paul? Is it Paul? Paul Rudd. Okay. Paul I Rudd. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have gotten it without, the, without Paul. Yeah. Okay. Let's guess That's number him. three. We're going to guess him. Okay, I think he's a little old to be the sexiest man alive, but that's okay. Well, I'm certainly not. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I like biologically him. equipped to judge him. <laughs> you could be. Okay. Well, I'm not. Well, we skipped two, so we're skipping two. Oh, well, maybe we... it's maybe it's Gwenna. Sounds like something she'd do. Oh, God. well, that's what I was thinking. But then that just she didn't do oil. <laughs> she did other stuff. Well, this is, you mean, I mean, laundry detergent? Yeah. It could have been the origins of her thing. Did well, Goop go public in 2021? No. Goop? Gop? Goop? No, no it, wouldn't have been like, public. it wouldn't have been that part of it. No. Yeah, this is recent. Okay. Yeah. 
Number five is five Kanye West. Ye? <laughs> is he a singer? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> what invention would he well, have? Well, sort of. Clothing line. <laughs> he did have, he does have a clothing line. Wait, wait, number five? Yeah. Oh, it, it says, says after invention. launching a product line. Oh, it said named as one of the best 25 inventions of 2017. Yeah. That, was that that's a, part of, unless yeah. it was the sneaker thing where you blew a pair in the sneaker and it made it expand because he's into sneakers and stuff, right? Could he invented the little ball that you clump air in? I, I feel like I'm really reaching. Well, if that's a, one of the 25 best inventions of 2017, we're, we're really scraping the bottle, bottom mm -hmm. of the barrel for inventions. Yeah. Well, but <laughs> $1.7 billion doesn't sound out of line. Billion. Well, I guess that meant it was popular. I, don't know I think it. it might be. I think it might be him. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's for see. now. I, I, I will be shocked if I got the invention. Um, okay. Um, six. Well, it could be her, Gwyneth. Gwyneth. I, I, no, no, for number six? Yeah, who is oh, it? That's a golden raspberries? Kevin, Kevin Costner. Oh, why? Did Kevin Costner um, develop an oil separation machine? Stupid. And they bought it. Wow. Why does it even, doesn't even work? No. If you build it, they will come. I guess. Because he's a famous, handsome, white man. Okay. But he has nothing to do with oil separation machines. I mean, it's sort of the way Elizabeth Holmes has to do with medical stuff. Right? Except that yeah. she at least wasn't famous for something else first. I'm so no, glad she wasn't. They, that she, they, they threw the book at her. But she hasn't been, she hasn't had her sentencing? She, she, I want her to go to prison, but she's pregnant. Well, people have babies in prison all the time. They sure do. Okay, number seven. I bet you Karen knows it. Wasting away again in <laughs> margarita. <laughs> Jimmy He's Buffett. Oh, hot, uh, Buffett? I'm guessing. Buffett. I don't know. Don't you think? I, I think yeah. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No he idea. has he has all the restaurants in Tosh. I have no idea his, about numbers. I was thinking it was the Olsen twins. But... I thought the Olsen twins. Really? Really? With the 80s, though, Karen? I thought it was well, Paris Hilton. Well, the whole house goes way back. And they were yeah, really, it was that was like the right time one. frame. Okay. That's they cool. Like to me. Yeah. When it but what's one of their names? Ashley and Kate. You Ashley know? and Mary Kate. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad, Karen, you were thinking at the same time as I am. Well, I, I thought the Olsen twins, this is as I thought, but I didn't know. Yeah, because they were really little when Full House started. But they well made done, a lot of Carrie. Was that what they were on? Is Full House? Is that where they yeah. got the name? Yeah. I never saw Full House. Yeah, Ashley to... and Mary Kate Olsen. They are really rich. Mm. Messed up, yeah. too, right? And they That's... look. I mean, I guess it's fashion, but a lot of times they look like someone who's living outdoors and just has to wear a bunch of layers to stay warm. <laughs> they I no guess it's supposed that. to be fashion. Hmm. I got to check them out after this. Yeah. See what they're up to these days. Number nine. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. The, I believe the band is Van Halen. Okay. The oh, singer may have been born in Salinas, California. Oh, Sammy Hager. Cabo oh. Wabo, baby. I didn't even know that. Sammy Hager I didn't born. either. Tequila? I'm, I'm guessing. I didn't. I know that he's got the tequila. He's a singer. Okay. I didn't know that Van Halen had the nightclub at first, so I could be wrong. What kind of tequila? It, what, does, what's his tequila named? I mean, is it Cabo named Cabo Wabo. Oh, okay. I like it. Okay. And we got it. We just didn't get number oh, two. Oh, you guys did great. We didn't What's get number, number two. Number two. The, uh, the zombies. Yeah. After breaking out in welts from laundry oh, detergent. No. 
laundry detergent. Look at this amazing. This company fell to five hundred and fifty million. I know, like that's a punishment or something. Well, I know. Uh, it's down what a shame. A, down to a third. <laughs> Who's but into still, laundry? Laundry. Rachel Ray. Um, uh, Martha Stewart. Martha Mark. Stewart. How about? No, she didn't do that. No, she. We don't know. She probably that. never washes any clothes or Oprah? anything. No. <laughs> But uh, the company went public in 2021. You know what? We should reconsider number four too, because that was not a strong one. Number four? Yeah. You said no, he's too that's old. Phoebe. No, that's Phoebe K. Uh, number three. Number three. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, have number... those, I have those two mixed up. Okay. Yeah. Number three. It, it might be. Who's that young guy with light, light brown hair? Ryan Reynolds. Ryan. Oh, um... Dazzling. Ross Gosling, Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Oh. What do you think about him? Better than Paul Rudd. Yeah, he's young and he's hot. Uh, he was definitely a sexy man, sexiest man alive, but I don't know if it was twenty twenty one. Well, we we definitely need to have gotten the right answer and change it to a wrong one at least once. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh you really think you're sure of paul rudd uh do i look sure <laughs> i am not sure about any actor of were, anything i would totally act i remember him being on on stephen colbert like susan said in like yeah that's, that's, him, that's him ryan gosling that's it yes okay okay within two. two years gosh the company was hit with lawsuits it could be. I just can't believe there's no Gwyneth Paltrow on here. I think uh, that's it. Just seems like something she would do. Okay, would let's say let's that's put her good. down. Okay. Maybe she has another a company separate from Goop. Yeah, it would make sense if she was into. Soap. It just seems like we would be talking about it more. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? True. That's true too. Broke out on well. Who else is there? Um. Well, if it, if the company went public in 2021 and there was all those other things, we would be talking about it even if it wasn't Gwyneth Paltrow. So it must be something obscure. Yeah, but there's no hint as to the celebrity. You know, the others give us a little more about the celebrity. Right. I mean, not to criticize. It's a good category. Can somebody name a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even it's not even saying actor so could it be somebody like a kardashian or a hilton neil degrasse tyson yeah. <laughs> it, it could somebody be, who's known for being famous but not yeah, really being an it actor could be that young kardashian what's her name kylie or whatever oh, like or, or one of those youtubers you know oh, there's kylie all jenner. Of celebrities on youtube oh yeah it is jenner kylie jenner i don't know I, like, I mean, it's, I not, it's probably because she's called them all actors or, or, well, well, she says celebrity. actor or celebrity. Celebrity. Dare. Uh, <laughs> so, question one, she uses actor. Question three, she uses celebrities. Question two, Four she uses celebrity. actor. Five is singer. Maybe it's Chelsea Clinton. Singer, singer, actor. I First mean, if she says celebrity, I think it's gonna be somebody like her. I think I think the if it was a Clinton, it would be all over the new the conservative news it's and they wouldn't very shut up true. About it. That is very true. Do you think okay, well, we just need one more and we're done, Jane. You could call us back probably. We're struggling with two. I mean number two. I think I think Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, let's put not Caitlyn Jenner, but uh, Kylie. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah. Kylie Jenner. Okay. All and right. This is Paris Hilton. No. no, she's gotten married recently and kind of calmed down. Oh, how about that Lowland girl? Oh no, she's 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 an actor. Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, I, she I'm just thinking actor. Kylie Kylie Jenner because she's not. She's young. 
Well, she's not an actor necessarily, and she's not a she's singer. She's a celebrity. But she is yeah, a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you're, you're right. onto it with the celebrity distinction. I do too. But why in number three, if the answer is Ryan Gosling, did she say name one of the two celebrities? Because there's two that open. The other one is in The Walking Dead. Oh, so one's in Walking Dead and the other is just known Sex. for being famous, probably. Is the sexiest man alive, which is Ryan Gosling. Well, isn't he an actor? Yeah, but um it's more of a he's more of a two actors. Like a TV person. Well, maybe she said celebrities because she had just written the word celebrities on question two. I think it's just the name she's using instead of actors. I think it's just the interchangeable word for her. I think number three is Liberace. Liberace <laughs> <laughs> and Cher. Yeah, I think that's likely, but I don't know how to spell it. So I'm going to stick with oh, Ryan Gosling. I got it. I libraries. Got it. We lost Carrie. We lost Carrie. You spell it libraries. You do. Uh, libraries. Very good. Uh, Carrie went back to the main room, I think. Yeah, she's in the main room. All right. Good job, team. You guys were great. I'm going to go back. All right. It's 10 o'clock. Sorry, that was my computer. <laughs> Jane, you cursed us. <laughs> You're all do better than this than all the other ones. I'm oh. so sorry. I, I just assumed that everybody was going to. Everybody. We've learned this lesson. Not a chance. Years. Don't ever do <laughs> the that. Le the no. lesson I've learned in my weeks here is when the questioner comes up and says, Everybody's going to get good yeah. scores on this. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did good. Hard. I think it, we it, did good. It, it just teaches you that each person, you know, like knows their genre and then other people yeah. know their own different But genre. apparently it doesn't yep. teach us because people keep saying this three years into it. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we see the scores? This is going to be on game, number, uh, on game number 140, and we're still saying, saying it's so funny. Yeah. yeah, I'm still saying it even after I've written ones. I write questions and I think everybody's going to do well and the scores are really bad. And then right. I write questions that I think might be too hard and everybody gets a 10. You can't yeah. tell. It's hard <laughs> to find that sweet spot in the middle. Well, that's why I like the variety and that so many different people are writing the questions that you just have no idea. It's really, I mean, if it was just me doing it like I did for the first six months, it wouldn't be anywhere as variety and 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 interesting. You guys come up with the most. There'd be no time things. travel, no wordles. <laughs> None. Uh, Absolutely, but it's. But I, it's I, I think I do those I mean, categories. You guys even do like clues just to piss are... Susan off. <laughs> Absolutely. Rob does too. He makes time travel it's just to piss Susan off. <laughs> Shh, I'm going next week. <laughs> Speaking or, of actually, how no, the, amazing the weekend, it is, the categories week. you all do in the future on the first next year next year i need still a bonus and a category so just keeping that in mind i need it for a few days from now so just, just let okay you. it's 10 o'clock let's do the answers okay i'm going to give you it's I'm gonna one o'clock gail one o'clock yeah. well that's true it's only tomorrow. if you live in the wrong part of the country <laughs> the wrong part. i'm going to give you the answers and then i'll paste them all in the chat um, okay, so number one, the actor who sold his tequila for one billion dollars is George Clooney. Wow. Yep. Yes, right. The tequila is named Casamigos, which is a reference to the friends' neighboring homes. Um, and Clooney's partner is Randy Gerber, who is Cindy Crawford's husband. And there's a third partner who's a friend and a businessman that they partnered with just to launch their product. And as a result of his success, pretty much I found out through my research that every single actor in Hollywood now owns a tequila company. So you can name an actor and I will respond. 
owns a tequila company. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Do a lot of rules with it. They're all so creative. <laughs> there, there are hundreds of actors in, in Hollywood. Do you mean to tell me all of them have a tequila Tens company? Owns a tequila company. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. That's probably a microbrewery, too. That's, that's a slight exaggeration. In fairness, agave grows tremendously well in L.A. <laughs> okay, let's go. Keep All answering. Right. <laughs> Number two, the actor who started an all-natural product company is Jessica Alba. Oh, I don't know who she has. Damn the, it, I knew that. The company is called The Honest Company. Uh, the current company is currently valued at one third its previous valuation, but still very great valuation at $550 million. Uh, some of the prob problems include uh, uh, and lawsuits uh, involve a sunblock with very little sunblock in it, resulting in severe burns of oh, adults and children. I thought she sold it to George Santos. <laughs> <laughs> I might come out. You never know. Laundry detergent with chemicals that the company swears it would never use. Um, mm. or, organic baby formula with 11 ingredients that violated the law for use in organic products. Right. And baby wipes that were recalled for due to mold. I've never heard of this woman. I'm looking it up. I've never heard of it. I'm sorry, what? I said, I've never heard of her. Yeah, oh, yeah. The Wikipedia page doesn't mention Fantastic me Four. <sighs> okay, number three. The actors who bought the candy store are Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who is an actor on The Walking Dead, and Paul Rudd, who... Oh, oh no. Oh, oh Leonard. <laughs> he was the uh, sexiest man alive, apparently, <laughs> 2021. I, mean, I, I might not be the uh, best man. person to rate the sexiness of men, but I don't get that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they make their choices. Oh. Uh, the store okay. is called Samuel's Sweet Shop, and they these two actors market it now on talk shows and in magazine articles, and they capitalize on their celebrity, and they draw a lot of tourists out to the shop. Um, number four, the actor who now owns and works in a shop is Phoebe Cates. Yes. Um, the film, which I was surprised to know is on the National Film Registry, is <laughs> Best Times at Ridgemont High. Um, and I was going to say in the clue, I was going to say that she was associated with a famous red bikini scene. But then when I Googled red bikini scene, the first hit that comes up is Phoebe Cates. So I changed it to a swimming pool scene. I've um, never seen this. I've never heard of this woman. Classic. The, oh my God. You have to watch it. I don't care if you're straight, Susan. You got it. I will, I, I will yeah. love watch that it. scene. It was it was released at the time when there were VHS tapes and, and the, you know, the ones you returned to the store and they were rewound and rewound and rewound in that spot. So one spot so often that they're all worn out. <laughs> um, anyway, the boutique that she owns is named Blue Tree and she quit show business in 2005 with only a few exceptions. Um, the singer whose net worth is uh, $1.7 billion, number five. Um, is Rihanna. Oh. oh. I am shocked uh, by this. Um, I'm happy for her, of course. Um, she actually is listed as around the 2,000th wealthiest person in the world. Holy crap. Wow. What was her invention? Um, well, the product is a cosmetic line named Fenty. Um, and, uh, I will just say that she also has a successful fashion line by the same name. So but Time Magazine named cosmetic makes underwear and I've seen it. That's well, the Fenty cosmetic line was considered unique because it had 40 color shades, which set a new standard in the cosmetic industry. That's an invention. 
said they, they defined that as an invention. Her underwear line for Fenty is extremely popular. Well, it's she's she, uh, apparently her fashion line is very popular because she sells it to all size women. Um, and so, yeah, so she, she, the bulk of her, even though she's has achieved that great success in music, which I'm not even familiar with, <laughs> um, she, her, the, the majority of her wealth comes from her business. So we should invent a makeup line that has 50 shades. Mm, that's an invention. <laughs> and we can be on time. Revlon used years. to have at least that many. I don't Are know. they all going to be shades of gray, though, Susan? Yeah, I was wondering about <laughs> I was going to say who did that. It would be you, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay. Baskin Moving Robbins on. invented a new kind of ice cream Cross. store because they are the first to have 32 flavors. flavors. It's that's the ridiculous. thing is she has the name. High magazine. And that's right. why they have the celebrity. I mean, that's why they're able to do it. It's not that anybody could have come out with something like that. Um, number six, the celebrity who invested in oil separation machines is Kevin Costner. Whoa. Ooh. Good wow. guess. Um, and in the question, I did not refer to him as an actor, in part because he also does other things in the entertainment field. And in fact, his two Academy wow. Awards are for producer and director. Um, See, I knew that was important. I thought <laughs> said Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Um, and she actually, or at least one of the Kardashians, owns a tequila business. Um, of course. <laughs> um, but <laughs> only in one. The, I don't know, but I, but I know that one of them uh, does. Um, uh, but anyway, in the oil separating machines, um, the centrifuge, centrifuge designed to spin the contaminated water through a cylinder to separate the oil gets gummed up by the crude and it's unable to process it. So that's why the, the it fails, it, it doesn't work. The, the machines don't work apparently, but he sold them for millions of dollars. So anyway. And um, of course he's giving back all the money when they when he realized his product didn't work, right? Yeah, all right. Karen, Karen, he doesn't have to give it back. He got paid by BP. Right. They've got plenty of money already. <laughs> Um, the and it worked seven, perfectly. It got it got him paid. Yeah. <laughs> number seven, the singer that is selling what is actually a beach bum lifestyle brand of getting high and drinking margaritas is wasted. Jimmy Buffett, but he clearly works pretty hard himself. Um, he owns several hotels, multiple casinos, at least two restaurant chains with many locations. Um, he has at least one cannabis strain. Um, he has beer, tequila, um, part ownership in two baseball teams and a football team. Uh, he has clothing, he has a food, food products, uh, chips and salsa, and he just announced a cruise line, and they're going to rename and redecorate a cruise ship to match his brand of, you know, being all laid back. and Carrot heads. Right. Um, and so number eight. The super wealthy former actors that are now fashion designers are Mary Kate and Ashley Olson. Yay, well Kerrig! Yay, Kerrig! <laughs> hip hip hooray! Uh, so the last acting credit for Mary Kate was 2011, and for Ashley it was 2010. Unless I got them mixed up, I'm not sure. Like their mother does. It's easy to do. <laughs> um. The New York Times named Mary Kate a fashion icon for pioneering her signature homeless look. <laughs> ah, ah, that's what it was. Karen, she said it. She called it. But which I which one was that? Mary Kate? Mary Kate. Um, and I'm not sure which one is which. Anyway, um, but I want to tell you that when I was reading about them, you know, I didn't, I never took this seriously, what they're doing, but apparently they have won numerous awards 
for their fashion, um, you know, line, uh, and they are, I, th this is serious business. Um, so they're like really successful. So anyway, number nine, the singer who owns a hugely popular Mexico hotspot and, and tequila is Sammy Hagar. Hey, yep. Selena's native. Thank you. And, uh, oh, I didn't know that. And he uh, originally, you know, bought the club with Van Halen and then bought them out after a while. Um, but the nightclub and restaurant cantina is named Cabo Wabo. Um, and there's currently a second location on the Las Vegas Strip. The tequila is also named Cabo Wabo. Um, the, there's a Van Halen song named Cabo Wabo. And um, the tequila is the second best-selling tequila <clears throat> in the US and it's won multiple international competitions. And then the last one, number 10, I want to say I am just in love with the late philanthropist Paul Newman. Um, he got on Nixon's shit list due to his support of Eugene McCarthy in 1968 and um, the effective use of television commercials in California and his opposition to the Vietnam War. He worked for liberal politic, political causes, um, social justice, gay rights. Um, he founded summer camps globally for children with serious illnesses It's that, that have served 1.3 million children. He co-founded Safe Water Network to improve access to safe water to underserved communities around the world. Um, he uh, has a First Amendment award of $25,000 that goes to protect First Amendment uh, rights for written the written word. Um, and he's profiled on the Freedom From Religion Foundation website for, um, uh, in part, um, he told Barbara Walters that he does not believe in an afterlife. Um, anyway, he is a great philanthropist and um, really interesting person. Very good. I learned a lot. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to check that, check out some of these names. Look at Mary Kate, the chat. Mary yep. Kate Olson. And she's, they've got some interesting clothes. Really? I didn't look at any of their clothes. I, <laughs> it's I, category. lots of layers. <laughs> like, like Karen said, okay, let's do scores. Let's see how she did. Okay, we got a bit of a spread here. So let's go with uh, Santa took Southwest, which is why you didn't get any presents this year. Southwest uh, failed us again. We only got three. Okay, Pele. Five. Boy. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, shameless, suspiciously wealthy Jew-ish. We, we are as constant as the Northern Star, seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why we didn't even mention Pele and what, look what happened. Eight. Ooh. You know your celebs. And Ooh. Jane's category, <clears throat> James, James group, I mean. Seven. Look at that. Oh. And the wow. curse did not quite come through. We would have had right. one more if we'd listened to Leonard. That's right, I know. Sorry, <laughs> Leonard. Sorry, Leonard. Oh, I wasn't on your team. Okay, so last but not yes, least. Yes, you so were. Let, let, let me just point so out, not... Jane, Jane, that that was the lowest average of the game so far tonight. Wow. Oh, by barely <laughs> anything. It was very interesting. Not by much. Not by much, but it was. Oh, so solid our last category. but not least solid. category is a bonus category, which is Kevin. And there he is on the screen. I had to find him. I, uh, I, I got three variations. I want the top 
10 movies of 2022. Oh, God. I'm going to go with Domestic, which USA, Worldwide. So if it's on one of those. Or one of the top 10 of Ebert's favorites. No. So any one of those lists. He's, he's dead. What? what? You he's need dead. 10. And I know, but he still has a page that lists did, the, did the Thomas best John movies. Thomas uh, John channel him or something? There's a RogerEbert.com that keeps reviewing movies. Yes. So, so, so we I know want, that. I want Proving the top there's an 10 afterlife. box office movies. Box office movies. The box 2022. office 2022. 2022. Top 10 box office movies. U.S. or worldwide. So that's two different lists. So you, you just have to pair on one of those lists or one of the top best movies on Roger Ebert's list. The top 10. So if you've got 10 of them, if they pair on one of those lists, you get a point. <clears throat> Mono okay. rules? Mono rules? No. Because the because the ten domestic and the other one, there's only like fourteen answers there. Can we mix them? So we can mix them, right? Yeah, but yeah, but you only mentioned one movie. Like, like let, let's just say there was a a Rocky sixteen. It's not there, but you don't have to say Rocky sixteen, the battle for Washington. You can just say Rocky. You know what I mean? The the franchise. Yeah, but kind of the event. list on the list. If okay. it it just has if it to makes be the on list. one of. Okay. It makes one of those lists. Yep, you get a point. The top. So can I'm you give list me the, the category title? Answers. What are you calling this category? Oh, uh, top ten movies according to the box office, or Roger Ebert's best. It needs a short title for her list. Put it in the chat. Just did. <laughs> oh, you did. That's... Do I need to mute for this? No, we're going to go right to our rooms. Right to your rooms. That, that's what I thought. Go to your rooms. Did I miss the list? No, we got to come up with the list. Movies. Yeah. On 2022 or in 2022? Of. of gotta, that's when the list was published. Of 2022. No, not saying. exactly. In, of all time, but published in 2022. Oh, top 10 movies of all time that was published in oh. 2022. I wow. think, right? I I've, I've read this. No, I've seen this. I've seen this. I was looking at Washington Post came out with this and they were talking about how the how the how the movies change depending on different, you know, how we are. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Kane is still on there. Yeah, Citizen mm -hmm. Kane, I would guess. Yeah, uh, I think The Godfather. The Godfather was definitely on there. Are you guys writing this down? Well, are we sure? Maybe we should. No, I know them. these are, are got to be on there. Are no, you writing like, to uh, Susan? No, I'm not. Are I'm we just, sure that I mean, it's of old time? Okay, Instead then of, I will. Twenty twenty. Okay, write Godfather, that. Citizen Kane. I'm writing it down just because I'm. It okay. helps me remember when I'm making a list like this. Um, oh yeah, what if that's wrong? Gone what if it? What if that's a misunderstanding? No. Well, he'll be by soon. We can quite check on with them. Okay. Gone with the wind. Sure. Um and um, bridge over the river Kwai. Okay. Think, is that the one uh, where they're on the beach? No idea. No. I just know it's quoted as like an epic movie. It is. It's a wonderful movie, but it's a war movie. Are they on a beach? No, if they're in a, a Japanese prison camp, they're British soldiers that are captured, and they're ordered to go and build this bridge over the river. That's Kwai. right. Well, which is the one that's oh all all on the Western Front? What's it called? Well, there's all quiet on the Western Front. Wasn't that the which is the one that had the beach and the and the promo always shows the man and woman on the beach? Oh, that's from here to eternity. Ah, I bet you that's on there. Uh, no, actually, I don't think so. No, uh, there's Raging Bull, I don't think which used to be up at the top but seems to have dropped. Mm -hmm. I think there's uh, Avatar, right? It's one of the top grossing films. Of all but I don't know if it's but it's, most, it's like these are mostly all older things. Yeah, Avatar never got quite the ratings that these did. It got the gross, but I don't think that's yeah, what almost this is all based these are on. really older. I mean, the Godfather is like one the of the box new box office, right? No, no, it's not box according, office. no according to the lists, rated, rated as being the best. Yeah, there's a couple other movies that are. That, that, uh, there's well, a movie called 
And I, I went and I looked it up because like, what is this? It was, it was a movie just, I think it's German. There's no words. Das it's Boat. Just, huh? Das Boat. That wasn't it, but there was another, but I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't on there. Um, there was this movie that was like all these clips of this guy who was using all the, the techniques. They started like Dutch angles and, and, you know, moving, moving from one scene to another by using like a, the camera moves into a black area and then it moves in, then it goes, they had used all the motifs of, um, Oh, film, okay. That film I don't know. History. And it was like the first time a lot of them have been used. And it's a man on a bicycle or something. I can't remember what it's called. I mean, I, I think I've looked at this list before, and I think it's biased towards uh, more recent movies. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of the people that are writing the movies on IMDb are younger. So yeah, it depends mm -hmm. on what we're picking. IMDb box office rogers roger eberts i was just going with the ones i saw that they were doing on washington post that the list just came out and they were talking about how it was you know how how things have shifted but they talked yeah. about um but imdb yeah you're right these might be more recent because if there are people who haven't seen who aren't film historian like i think i remember seeing like lord of the rings stuff and Okay, that's probably that's a good guess, yeah. Okay. How about Harry Potter? Uh, probably some Harry Potter, maybe. Maybe, yeah. If we're going with IMDb, um, Hobbit, no. Um, yeah, so I'm no good at judging this if it's if it's if it's modern movies and it's based on opinions of people rating things that. But if we're going to talk about stuff that historians or film critics have rated well then the ones i was giving earlier would be more accurate so i don't yeah think, uh, roger yeah, ebert probably know better than i would avatar might be on there i don't know wizard of oz i don't think it was ever ranked that highly even by the critics oh yeah it was it was just, it was like it was popular but i don't know if it ever well, it was, i mean it was known I, for being unique you know and, and the mm -hmm. first kind like that Oklahoma, um, Wizard of Oz, it just, it just had a, but that's historian stuff. So that's not anything. I'll go back to look at my pictures of Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see when he comes up here to find out if the IMD box office is, is that the critics within IMDb or is that just box office receipts? The Roger Eberts, he has professional critics who do the rating on that show, on that site since he died which is why i think that some of the older movies still would be preserved but i'm not so sure about the imdb one i think i remember in the imdb one shawshank redemption was one of oh the yeah i'll bet you I yeah. Mean, that would be, yeah that would make sense you writing them down yeah I'm trying to think of what we can we can still stick avatar in there for the imdb one i didn't put it on there but if you want sure. to i will i think lord of the rings would make it too yeah I'd actually be yeah surprised if the godfather I, didn't make it because yeah i've got all three of those now avatar lord of the rings and but, godfather uh, uh, some of this the tom hanks movie not tom hanks um well, maybe tom hanks um tom Selleck, tom 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 cruise tom hank wait wait oh uh, tom cruise yeah. the mavericks or or whatever i don't know if top gun, gun top gun would make it and i'm sure there's some foreign films that i've never heard of that are on the list mm -hmm. i looked at like the top yesterday i was looking at the top list of movies for this year according to the critics never heard of most of them mm -hmm. and a lot of them are foreign films sure yeah so some bit of category about that and think the total score was one right yeah oh my god the clothes that these women are wearing <laughs> i am not that old says the person wearing an owl hat i know but i'm not supposed to be fashionable these are well, yeah. these are i mean why don't you just roll in the dirt and just get it over with they look like they've been rolling <laughs> the dirt. they don't look clean 
Where's Kevin? Yeah, I haven't seen him pass by yet. Oh, I can bring him here. I have those powers. That's true. Let me just do it. Uh, move to. We're in five. Oh, it says he's supposed to be here. Where is he? He's invisible. No, no, he's supposed to be here. He must be in the main screen. Let me go. Let me go see if he's in the main room. Kevin, we're how are you guys doing? We wanted to, we we had a question for you in our room. Okay, go ahead. Well, you got to go to room five. Oh, room five. Sorry. What are you doing here, James? We're heading back. We're. <laughs> oh well, we have a question. So go to room five so you can answer our question. And James can sit here and look at the baby picture of Bob. And our room's coming back here. Fine. Is that that's just... like the official amount of money that the most money made? You know. Okay. Okay. So that is based. That's not based on critic reviews. That's just no, based on no. box office po popularity. The most money. That's what they officially report and. There's an international list, like a worldwide list, and the domestic, so that it can be on either list. They're slightly different. Okay, okay. and then the Roger Ebert's one. And the Roger those Ebert are, is different. Those, just those are critics. Critics, it just, you know, what I should have done was have everybody do at least one from the Roger Ebert one, but I didn't do that, so I'm not going to do it now. Because it's, it's a totally different list, but it's, it's cool. I just wanted to throw that one in there because no one ever gets that one. And this is top 10 of all time, not top 10. No, no, 2022, this year. Oh, ju uh, just 2022. Oh, uh, we were going from all time. Because no, no, none no. of us could name 10 movies from this year. Yeah. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. I know one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Top Gun. Uh, okay, yeah, the Top Gun one. Avatar. Yeah, Yeah, Gun. Okay, Wakanda. That. Yeah, Wakanda. I think. Oh, the Black Panther, movie. yeah. How do I how do I broadcast to everybody? Do I have to be in this room to do it? I leave. No, you can you can just hit B, hold it down and talk, or go to the oh, main Dr. room because that's where people are. Doctor yeah, Strange in the Multiverse room. came out this year. That's sorry, right. I'll just put Doctor Strange. Yep, good, good one. Enough. Um, Thor, was... Thor: Love and Thunder. You have that one. Oh yeah, Thor came out. Thor. Yep. So there was no Lord of the Rings this year, was there? Nope. No. Nope. Obviously, no Shawshank Redemption. I got Avatar. Now. <laughs> it's a damn good movie, though. I mean, it feels maybe like a big oh, yeah. Shawshank prediction with this <laughs> politics. Um, okay, so now so we've got slow. five of them. And now so. I'm glad we're clear because that would have been really yeah. interesting to pick Sorry the about that. And... That's yeah. I just wasn't quite catching it either. Okay. Um, I think Jurassic World came out this year too. Was that this year? Jumanji or something like that come out? There was a new Jumanji, but I thought that was last year. I don't remember. Haven't been but there was Jurassic World. There was a Harry Potter movie, but I don't think it did well. Oh, yeah. What it was, was the, the uh, third one, oh, Dumbledore um, Secrets. Secrets of yeah, Dumbledore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it did that It was that awful. Well. So embarrassing. Um, so, any international ones that anyone's ever heard of? How many do we have so far? I got six. Just put in Jurassic World. I think the Batman came out, right? Did it? Which one? I the didn't Batman? think there was. That I don't think. I don't remember that. I know Michelle Yeoh was in one that got really good. Was it like everything, everywhere, all at once or something? Oh, yeah. Like that was what, very popular. That other one? Was sleeping something. Oh, wait. That might have been like a. Um, never mind. That's not a movie. Okay. Yeah. Any yeah. time travel movies that, that you saw? Just I, I'm sure I, I time traveled back in time and forgotten. I would have watched them and then I would time traveled back, back to, to before time. Wordle was invented. Yeah, and didn't have anything to do with it. Um, uh, let's see. What other. Um, three more to go. Just trying to think of actors just to see Tom Hanks. 
Well, actually, I know uh, the Fabermans. I don't think that's the that's the um, uh, Spielberg movie uh, biopic or autobiography that he did. What was it about? It's it's sort of a biography or autobiography of him growing up and why he became a um, a director. Well, they oh, I heard about this. Yeah, that sounds recent. Yep. Yeah, it's it's sort of fictionalized. It's not his family, but it's based upon yeah. his family. It's supposedly quite good. I haven't seen it. I think Tom. How about that knives out? I don't. Okay. That was never really the theater, was yeah. it? Yeah. I would say the Batman. You know, this is another superhero movie. Okay. Right. That was the Batman. It's usually another Spider Man every year. So yeah, that one I don't remember. Well, that was last about. year. Oh. So were there any other Marvel? We got the Doctor Strange and Thor. And Wakanda. And Wakanda. Although Thor's DC isn't. Or is Thor Marvel. Marvel. He is Marvel. Okay. Did Black Adam come out this year? Although I don't know if that was very good. That one I don't know. I'm starting to think of, you know, big actors that are out there and figure out if there was a movie that they made. No new Star Treks. Well, it's got to be at least 10. Well, we need one more. How about a Pixar? Uh, they supposedly had one there that or got, Disney? Isn't did very Disney badly. Wasn't there uh, a what was that one? movie that came out with the, the not Coco, but the... Encanto? Encanto. Or was that two years ago? Well, there yeah, was one that, that was came out year. with like a gay main character that supposedly got panned oh oh yeah 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 that but was, it uh, buzz lightyear right. oh yeah buzz lightyear yeah yeah well, there so was that one that too down? i think it didn't do very well, well right i don't think yeah i don't think it did very well but well, if we're desperate Encanto? for a 10 that was two years ago which I think one it was last year yeah encanto so it wouldn't be oh. on the list i think there was a minions one right that came out is that the rise of blue yeah that probably did well. Yeah. Okay, put that because that would be good. Is that over the buzz That's light year? Probably, yeah. It's not controversial, so probably it, the controversy probably brought it down. Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Okay, we're. I guess we got. 10. I'm going to close. 10? I'm going to close the rooms. Ron? Yeah, we got our ten. I'm going to close the rooms. Well, everybody's okay. back. Well, no, not really. Two minutes. Two minute warning. All right. The um, once I we think figured this out is the good, category, we we got better. I think this is a good category to do at the end of the year, every year, the last one. Yeah, but then people know once I say it like this, you know, like yeah. if I was doing the bonus next year, I'd do the same one. Yeah, most of but us you, are old. We'll you never can do remember. a top top ten in in the year of something. That you can't. Yeah, movies. but I was gonna do music. If if somebody else was gonna do a category this week that happened to have this one in it. I would have had to come up with another one. I would have done like top 10 billboard songs of 2022, which I think would be harder. Yeah. But, you know, something like that. End of year stuff is always good. Like I always was trying to do like celebrities who died, but that's not really a category for, for a bonus. No. Celebrities that haven't died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our rules. Will die now that we've mentioned them. How about celebrities who haven't died but don't oh, own? Look at your key. Uh, look at oh, celebrities who will die devices. in 2023. What a pretty you guys put a hex on them, oh. and then in 2023 they're gonna die. <laughs> Which one is this? This is Primrose. Look at look at the way Primrose's face. The markings are just right across the. Face. Oh, and my favorite, her legs. 
Oh, look at that. She looks like she's got dipped into, stepped into paint. She stepped into paint, paint, paint can. Yeah. And she wow. came wandering into the uh, into our back deck about four years ago and just moved in. She she selected you guys. Socks. They call yeah. them socks when they're like that. But you don't know yep. who she belonged to? No, we checked around. Nobody. We think there was a barn cat in cats the farm are free. behind us. People don't know. Cats are free. And cats so free. she was young when you got her? Yeah, she was like uh, three weeks old. Oh, so yeah, she didn't belong to anybody. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that too, but nothing is in the chat. So I won't yeah. click on it. Well, you Good see God. something? Yeah, it says a file something. by James. Oh, I yeah, don't, don't see it. it. But then my, if you my, click on it, it wants you to upload it onto your laptop. Yeah, and I'm not yeah, going to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my virus yeah. protection stopped me from seeing it. So yeah. Uh, right. because, yeah, there's no extension to the file type, so I wouldn't grab it. I don't know what it mm -hmm. is. Oh. Yeah. What do we got? Okay. Okay. Carl, we uh, the answers. Ready Carl. for answers? Carl. Domestic Carl. answers. Yeah. Carl, I just looked up on Wikipedia. It's already made over one billion with a B dollars. Okay, okay Kevin's going to give us the answers. The answers are in the chat for domestic. Top Gun, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Jurassic World. Minions, The Batman, Thor, Avatar, Spider Man, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. Ooh. Yep. Wow. Uh huh. Yep. And okay, now I'm going to give you the worldwide. It's almost the same thing, except number nine and ten oh, are a little. Spider Man different. was last year. I said I was just saying. I bet there's been Spider Man because there's one every year. And then worldwide, it's almost the same except for number nine and ten are Watergate Bridge and Moon Man. Mm -hmm. The other ones are similar order. That's worldwide. Top Gun. And then forget about the other one. I don't think anybody's going to have any of this. <laughs> Let's see. Let me hear. Let me hear. I, I just see. I should have had it. Everybody has to get at least on, one from come on, this Come on, Glass list. Onion. Come on, Glass Onion. All right, we oh, got... awful. No Fablemans. Hey, we Yay. got both of them. All right. Uh, Can you say them, please, Kevin? Yep. Nope. Yep. Number one oh. from Roger Ebert's list is the Banshees of... I don't know how to say it. In Inner Sharon. Sharon. Inner Sharon. All right. The Fablemans, Decision to Leave, R, After Sun, Nope. I'm surprised at Nope. Oh. I thought that was stupid. No bears. Everything, everywhere, all at once. R R R. Must be a pirate movie. <laughs> and Babylon. Don't say anything about Nope. I haven't seen it yet. I've actually seen two of those. I've Did you have happen. one on your list? No. Okay, scores. Nope. Oh, so as long as we're close on the names, we're okay. Like. If you Doctor said Spider-Man, you get a point. I'm not Doctor we're, we're Strange works. Title. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. There's my source for that. And I'll put the other one in there too. Hmm. Oh. Cocaine Mark, bear Mark, better Mark, be Mark, a little bit next year. I think if you got one on the Roger Ebert list, you win. We I got two. we got two. Yeah. I think we got, we got two. two of those. We got three. Scores, three. scores, scores. <laughs> Well, Air. everybody's got their got it figured out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We, got it. we know Carl team's gonna win. No. Oh no, I don't, so. I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Almost. Can you can you give the win? Can you can the team that has the lowest points win? Can they? I don't know. Can well, you they? can de you can declare yourself a winner. That's called golf rules. That's exactly. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. We're all, all right. winners. Santa took Southwest. Well, we're all winners. We know that. Santa took Southwest, <laughs> which is why you didn't get any presents this year. Four. Okay. Yeah, that's going to get you a win. Yeah, there's yeah. a win. Pele. Five. Six. Six? Yep. Do I hear seven? <laughs> <laughs> okay. She got was suspiciously wealthy people. Well, we broke the trend and got eight. Oh, did we? I thought we got Aww. seven. <laughs> Yay. Okay. We didn't even mention Pele, and look what happened. Ten. Whoa. What? Wow. I, I was on that team. Thank I was you. on that team. Thank you, Susan. I get it all for you. You've been on the couch tonight. Okay. 
for for our score for Southwest, where's my luggage? It's the one with the gold bar in it. We, we got actually 10. we actually got two from the Roger Ebert no list. three. Wow. We got three, three. from the Roger three. Ebert list. Yeah. And our final score, however, was, was three. Ten. <laughs> Oh, oh, congratulations. Wow. Look at Good that. job. Yay. I probably should have left off that Ebert list. I might have won. Yep. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Very I close. demand a recount. I'm a Republican. You do a category. I don't think you should worry about winning. <laughs> Very good. And so since I'm on the screen, just because you're looking right at it. So in a few days, Sunday, January 1st, I need to make this a successful event. So I need two more people to volunteer. Okay, I will, Susan. Adrian, first up. As long you. as I can do that twice in a row. I know you don't like that all the time. Well, no, it's it's a different thing, and I need a bonus. I'll do a category, not a bonus, though. So. I can do the bonus if she does a category. Okay. And I can do a round the following week. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you all, but I still do need to have... Also, and, fill in, do we have anything for January 5th? Do I hear anybody for January 5th? I'll do the top 10 movies of 2023. I will nag you later since I don't have- Is that, is that time travel? No, 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 one week of sales, five days of sales. Oh, oh, okay. Let's volunteer Robin. <laughs> yeah. I might. And I will be calling up people, Caspian. I need you to write a category. Did Rob say he'll do one? Rob's doing one. Rob right. and Carl are on the fifth. They're taking the fifth. <laughs> so I'm going They're taking out. the fifth. See you guys later. Oh, is it Adrian? Hey, to the thanks, fifth also? thanks, Adrian. See you guys on Sunday. I might even have my wife Bye, on this one. Bye, Adrian. Bye, Adrian. Bye, for the fifth, and then so did Bye. Kevin and Romero. All right. I got this all filled in now. Look at them waving at me. Yeah. I saw Romero, you. you do good categories. Why don't you do the fifth? Uh, that's, I will. Uh, yeah, I can do the fifth. Well, thank you. <laughs> Okay. That's two weeks in a row. I can't do that. <laughs> well, it, only if I'm desperate. So at the moment, we're okay. All right. I'll figure it out because I'll get people to volunteer on on, on Sunday. To yeah, get, that's a good idea. Too. I'll Especially some of the new people. No, no, I don't want new people. <laughs> no, no people. We, we don't want to raise one for a couple weeks. All right, everybody. Have and a nice day. I don't want to be yelling at the new people who think they're writing categories and they just know. Uh -uh. But Zeke is getting to a point where she needs to do a category. One so day. Carl, Kyle, did you just wave at me? No, I'm waving goodbye. I got to take off. Catch <laughs> you next time. All right, y'all. Good to see I'm you. Happy New Year's, y'all. Thank, Thank you, you guys for coming and joining us tonight. Bye. Night.